Happy Friday. How are we all doing tonight? Going to be kicking it off here with some Dwarven Realms Season 22. Pretty hype. I'm enjoying my time so far. And I hope you all are having a wonderful weekend so far. At least start to it anyway. Or, or day or night, wherever. If you're maybe you're watching the replay here on YouTube, who knows? Trying to figure out what skills I want to use in Dormant Realms. I've taken uh, one or two seasons off. I don't know exactly. It's been a while since I've played, though. And some stuff has changed a little bit. For the good. In my opinion, anyway. Alright. Like we are good to go. Awesome. Yeah, trying to figure out what skills we want to use. In the past, I, I, I think the very first season I played, I did Lightning. And the season after that was Fire. They've added a few new Lightning skills that we're testing out. One of them is called Plasma Lightning. It shoots out lightning on your sides. Kind of trying that out, see if I like it or not. And uh, if we want to keep using it. I don't know if the best strategy is still just kind of like stack three of the same skills and then get one utility skill on your belt, or you're good to kind of split up your skills these days. I'm not really sure what the best, best route is. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out for sure. I need to turn the game sound up a little bit. I don't die while trying to do so. Hopefully that's not way too loud. Ah, a little better. Cool, cool, cool. Rocking our own music tonight. Game sound. Yeah, wasn't doing it for me earlier, so. <laughs> doing our own little tunes. Run in malls this season too, which is new. I've done spears in the past, and I've also done uh, dual wielding swords. I believe it was in the past, and uh, I really like the swords. Uh, we're switching it up this time around. I'm not entirely committed to malls. Maybe later we'll kind of break down each of the skills and which one sounds like the most fun. But uh, for now, that's what we're working with. Oh. New season just started today. We're I'm going to be seeing how far we can push up in rupture levels. If you remember the way this game works is your progress is tracked for a couple different ways. Obviously, your character level, level 58. And the main, at least for me, the main way that I track my progression is through your highest rupture clear. Now, rupture is essentially a map, so we're in a rupture right now, right? So when you complete a rupture, you can go, you unlock higher ruptures and so on, and your highest rupture, kind of the most, how you progress. Upgrade. Not only that, but also higher ruptures, you also unlock other parts of the game. So we're still pretty early on right now. I think the last season I played, I think my highest was maybe a 90, rupture 90. I don't honestly don't remember. Don't remember. I think it's been about two seasons since we've played, so. But yeah, I forgot. I, I played today and I forgot immediately how addicting this game is. That's only five bucks on Steam, so definitely worth it. Uh-oh. Gotta get more energy. That's what these little green bubbles are. That's part of my pet. They reworked pets as well. Uh, I don't know all the ins and outs yet. And when I say they've reworked something or they've changed something, it's since I played last. It doesn't mean it's just new for this season. It could have been added another past season or two. It's just since I played last. So it's changed for me. Actually, I actually had to go back and rewatch my crafting video because I couldn't even remember what, uh, how it all worked entirely. That'll be the other thing we'll figure out tonight too. Try to relearn all that. It's 
torn all week between if I wanted to play this or uh, Path of Exile this weekend because I've been really addicted to Path of Exile. And uh, I've been, all week I've been torn. Here we are. I want to keep playing Path of Exile. But I also wanted to see what this new season was about here. I think this time around we're going to go full stamina because that's going to be our health pool. And then we're also working on our skill tree here. I'm trying to remember where I was going. Mm, yeah, you want agility. Agility is your leech, I believe. Your lifesteal chance, which is only 3% right now. Uh, but I think we could probably get... We'd probably be better off going over here just straight up get more damage I think is going to be the better choice uh, and if you're just starting the season I always go down here to infinite wind and grab some of these energy regen nodes and then I always go over and get the life increase as well and all these little life nodes and then after that I'll go over here that's usually like my first order my first order of passive pickage I don't know Usually the order I go in on the passive skill tree. There we go. This map. But you gotta think about it. Those kind of your two base things, right? Your health and your energy. If you don't have those sorted, you're not gonna have a very good time. And uh, it's nice to have those kind of sorted when you're starting out. You level up. You get. You'll max out, or I'll, you'll. You get a bunch of skill points in there, so the skill tree's not... It's not anything to stress about. You get enough skill points. And you can, actually... Unless they've changed you, you can max out the skill tree. It takes lots and lots and lots of grinding, but you can do it. I don't remember how, <laughs> but I know it used to be possible. We need to get into, uh, we need to get our belt here. That should be my goal for tonight, is get the belt. If I can unlock that stuff. I forgot what the dungeon name's called, where you get the belt. I know it's a keyed one, though. Added some elites. They've added some pretty cool things in here. They highlight, like, this one you want to get, this is going to have... I don't want that. I can't really tell. Grab it. Yeah, okay. Materials. So they have like a little highlighted beam over the little like special things you can loot. And if you remember before, there was like hundreds of dead bodies and things you'd have to actually go around spamming the E button on to loot. And they've made it a lot more enjoyable now. With, uh, nice snail. There's still some, there's not as many things you can loot, but what's cool about it is you get the same amount of stuff, you just don't have to loot as much, so you can just save that, uh, press an E all the frickin' time. <laughs> it's really nice. Killed a snail, that's why we got all this crazy sound going on. We do have a poll up on YouTube if you have any big plans this weekend. We already got a yes. I love to hear it. I love to hear it. <laughs> we got a bunch of kids, so of course we always have big plans too. Good weekend, man. It's beautiful out too. I keep forgetting I can use my charged ability. I'm so used to hoarding it up for the boss, but I just be burning it. This game, this game is highly addicting. You'll be grinding for hours and hours and hours. And, uh, ooh, here's a highlighted thing. What do we got, though? Nice. Some crafting mats. And then these ones I found out, you can check if they're an upgrade. It is. So we'll grab it. Which was lightning instead of fire, but... I think we need like 300. I swear they upped the amount of essences you need to uh, unlock the rupture gate. You can see up there in the top left how much time essence I have. And uh, yeah, we need a certain amount of that to be able to go fight the boss. 
It's, it's a we it's weird because the game is so simple, but yet it's highly addicting. Yeah, I don't I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> We need like 320. We'll kill these two elites and hopefully have it. Save up our charged. It is. We'll kill him. We'll kill him for the fun of it. And then if you have leftover essence, because essence is what you use to obviously unlock the boss door, loot stuff. But if you have any unused essence at the end of it, you can turn it in for uh, XP items. You can turn it in the town. Boss time. Let's see, uh, that's enough to burst a little bit. Glory to the <laughs> Take that. I swear they've also added more stuff in the boss rooms too to loot. Or to pick up. That part's nice. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just going to go lightning. I think, unless they've changed it, I think you can have two elements on your pet these days. Uh, so we, we could grab another, like if we wanted to go fire shield or something for defense. I've done that in the past season. Uh, but maybe it's, maybe it's best to just go full lightning, I don't know. So I'm thinking if we did... There's, there's materials you can get that when you're in town you can craft to increase a certain element type. Well, if it's an element type that you don't want, you can convert it to a different element at a 3 to 1 ratio. So you'd be losing out on two of these items. Uh, basically, if you did that. That's what I'm talking about. So just this thing of this. So if we were going to do a dual element build... Uh, we could do like if I want to do the fire shield and lightning. Otherwise, if I want full lightning, it costs me. Oh, okay, it's three arcane. Arcane. So if we're not doing arcane anyway, we wouldn't be losing anything. Oh, that's not right. We didn't see it'd be three fire to one lightning. Gotta decide if we want to split it up or not. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. That's not a. Oh, it is a mall. Looks like a wand. I'm not really comparing stats or anything right now. We're just going off the green arrow. <laughs> just for now, we're going. We're going to be lazy with it for a little bit. Once we get up uh, a little bit and we're kind of more focused, we'll start worrying about all of it. I think that was 30, so we unlocked another card too. Every five levels, you can pick one of these. Ah, uh, damage. The agility would be nice. Ooh, that damage and agility. I'm going to re-roll, see if we can get a lightning. Experience. One more, see if we can get a lightning pull. Should have taken the first one, man. Stamina. And you can respec, too, so... Like, if you're playing this game and you're, like, worried you're really going to screw up, just don't worry about it, you're good. It's pretty hard to completely screw up. Alright, we got that. Next song, baby. Oh, uh, what do we want to go next? Strength, crit damage. I don't even know what my crit chance is. Otherwise, we can go... And get some more lightning damage up here. I think this one's health regen. Which I'm not too worried about. These would be good over here. Lightning damage. Let's go up here for these. What we'll go next. Right. Got this new skin. Which we got because we're awesome. No, it's because I'm streaming the game. And I am awesome. That's facts. Here we go, and we're not doing a fellowship this season either because on Thursday we're switching games. Already. That's right, we're going to be playing No Rest for the Wicked. I'm sold on it. 
So potentially Thursday night there'll be a stream. A little bonus stream next week for that. I'm, I'm pretty pumped for uh, No Rest for the Wicked. What do we got here? Okay, that's not going to be my weapon type, so we're going to ignore that. What are these? Can't tell if that's a mall or not. Oh, well, then if you find any, like, slugs or snails, those are, uh... They're essentially, like, um... Shrines. Like, they're just... They're buffs, basically. And if you are in a fellowship and other people are getting those buffs, they you get the buffs as well, so you can stack them up. But we're going so low this season. Been feeling emo lately, so... Sure, let's check it out. Oh, that said, one-handed. Now we don't want that. Sure. Lightning damage. Nice. Almost 10% more lightning damage. That's what's up. I think once we clear 35, we'll sit and do some crafting and sit in town for a bit. I'm trying to I'm trying to not sit in town too much. Town's lava. <laughs> we don't want to get stuck in there looking at stuff. I do need to figure out when the daily NPC unlocks. Actually I've been waiting to turn on my books and stuff. I unlock it. This like a one hander done it. We'll leave it. I'm gonna break everything. Everything in the game is destructible, pretty much. I'm gonna break it all. All that wood, all the ore. If there's flowers, walk over them. You're gonna need it. So there's two different loot chests here. So I wonder if they're. I wonder if they're color coded. That's what I was trying to figure out earlier. If the colors actually mean anything. Can easily identify them. I don't know. Play a little more and find out. I was also trying to figure out, and I'm pretty sure it seems like the longer you stick in a rupture killing stuff, the more loot like that shows up on the map. Now, I don't know if those are there before and they just get highlighted the further I go, or if the actual loot box itself shows up. We're off. Oh, those are cool. Want some energy nodes? Yeah. Oh, we're good. Didn't even need them. Didn't even need them. There's now... With the crafting, I feel like they've changed the crafting a little bit because I, I'm wondering if those base items that we need to uh, craft on are the same or if they've changed them. It's on my, uh, it's on my to research list. Stamina. Oh, we're going over here, right? 10, 20, 30, 40. We 65% more damage. We get all those. When you're playing this game, you've got your skills. So you got your weapon that you choose. You can put on your bar. You can switch between weapons if you want. But your skills, like the lightning that's shooting out on the sides, is decided by your offhand items down here that you can kind of see. And you can also get a fourth skill on your belt. So that's what decides what your skill is, the chance it has to proc the damage, and then later on in the game you can get special modifiers for those skills as well. So you want to find a skill that you think is fun, and then later on you want to find a skill that's fun and has a modifier you like. And their new thing this season is they've changed the offhand crafting system. It is completely different, just from the little bit I've seen. I have not dug very deep into it. 
but you upgrade your offhand instead of crafting and randomly hoping you get the skill you want. So, so you have uh, more control over your skills with this new crafting system. It seems more rewarding so far. And if we see like those raptor cages or wolf statues, any of the animal stuff, we want to loot those. Those are going to be for your bracers that we're going to be crafting. Another cool thing they did too is when you, when it comes to crafting, to make like the really high end mods on your gear, you have to have this perk, Bane of the Blacksmith. It used to be way down here and they moved it. You can get it at crafting level 25 now. It's very accessible now. I think we want to get hit by that. <laughs> yeah, I was getting ready to like just do a bunch of crap. I'm like, oh, it's going to take forever. And then I looked at that. Boom. GG's. I can start having fun with crafting right away. Well, what do we got here? Do we want to loot it and waste essence? Nah. nah. Let's just finish the rupture. Not too worried about it. Ooh, we don't have our charge up and ready. <laughs> Love this freaking game, dude. Static charge. I don't know about static charge. Part oh, I didn't loot the boss chest. Too much of a hurry. Oh, uh, what do we got? Do we have an excess? Uh, only 200. We'll save those. Right, so they've added on... Because before with that crafting node, you... I don't think relics were in the pool. I think it was just bracers, ammy, boots, and helmets. But they've added in relics now. And I don't think there's a way, as far as I know, to craft relics in town. You can only craft them sometimes at the end of a rupture. And I'm assuming the higher rupture, the higher... Uh, item level relic you can craft. And in order to craft these, because you have to craft them if you want those special modifiers. They, they can't drop. But they use up these biome fragments, which you're going to use. You're going to use those for crafting your ammy as well. Uh, but it seems like, yeah, you're going to be using them more for your relic these days. Again, just speculation. I don't know. I have not <laughs> played very much. We're still pretty new to the season, so. It's kind of what it seemed like to me. Maybe they've added a way to craft relics in town. I'm not really sure. Ooh, we gotta get that. So the teal is the resources, I'm pretty sure. To come on. I mean, obviously that one's easy to tell. Like if anyone, if you have eyes, you can see there's gems in there. You obviously know. I keep an eye on that tonight, though. To see if they are color coded. Yeah, we'll see if we can get done. I'm kind of wanting to go through and update some of the YouTube videos and stuff for this game. Since so much that has changed. Uh, we'll see if we can get done before Thursday. Because when Thursday's out, I really want to... I want to put a lot of focus into uh, No Rest for the Wicked. I don't want to stand on that. I'm just stand anyway. I think that's a one-handed purple, one-handed axe. Let's see if I can remember. I should bust out my notepad. Full-on nerd. Uh-oh. Body blocking me. Oh yeah, upgrade. We gotta do that. 
Lightning, more lightning. The game, the game knows. Now we gotta get another AD essence. The thing I love about this game is if you take the game, like, if you're just going into it, you're like, oh, I can just, you know, I can just level. It's easy to level. And you can. You can level up all you want. But if you're not paying attention to the very finite systems, crafting, itemization, skill setup, synergies, stuff like that, you're not going to get as far. If, like, if you're just focusing on grinding out levels, you won't, like, you got to pay attention to all the little mechanics and all these little mechanics are not really explained in the game <laughs> you gotta figure them out I don't know if that's a good thing or not but. Uh, let's see I think I can loot that what do we got we're just going we're just grabbing a chain chain lightning I almost went I still might I still might. Nothing else in here to loot is there. I guess there's... We can check this. See what material it is. Eh. Saving those. It's going to be the same. Probably the same as the biome. So whatever this one is. Kabarian. fun part of listening to metal you don't know if it's the monsters or the music <laughs> no, you're this is the monsters i'm slaying or the music here mystery i think it's the monsters i'm fighting <laughs> it goes so well together Sometimes what I'll do when I get like to where I don't want to pay attention to anything, I'll just go back and forth in a straight line. I'm trying to I'm trying to not do that right now because I'm trying to actually clear these like get all these little resources and stuff. But yeah, I'll admit I've done it before. You're like ah, I don't want to pay attention. You can get a mount that auto gathers while you run around on it. I need to get my hands on that. Trying to win it today on their dev stream, but no such luck. I need to pick us some season and just grind it out. I was gonna buy it. Luckily, I'm really glad they do not sell that mount on the cash shop. Really happy about that. Being on their cash shop's cosmetics. What do we have wands? I almost went wands. I made some adjustments to wands that I was reading about, and uh, yeah, I almost went, I almost went that route. But here we are. Yeah. Look. Oh, I haven't even spent gold yet. I need to be doing that. That's uh, the gold's primarily. Well, early on, you want to save it to upgrade your fort. Uh, but once you get Later on, your fort's all the way upgraded, you'll be using your gold on uh, upgrade materials. That they have not changed. Get it. They made the boss fights a little bit cooler too. This one's not a great example of that, but yeah, the model of it looks cool. Another? Oh. Give my loot. Okay, you want to make sure you've spent all your essence before you turn it into those books. Ooh, lightning plasma. We good? 16. No, but we can... Eh, we'll probably break it down. 
So that's where I turn in and get all those XP items. Okay, we're going to beat 35, and then we'll go into town, do some crafting, see if we can get some upgrades. All that fun stuff. It's like, if you can do them, just, you know, just every five, go back so you can spend that, get that card. Hold on, movement speed. I want to just be super fast, dude. NASCAR fast. I don't even know. I don't even know if that's stat in the game or not. It should be. Yeah. So teal is um, gems. They must be color coded then. I don't remember what the axe was. I think it was purple. So what these are, these little gems we're getting. So these are stones that you use to put into your fossil. Now this fossil you get very early on and you keep it all the way through. So it's not like you're going to get a better fossil or anything. This is your fossil. It's going to be yours through the whole season. But you can upgrade it by putting these stones in there. And you can upgrade it pretty much infinitely. There's only one stats uh, damage reduction has a cap on it. And I don't remember what the cap is. But everything else you can... So you can scale infinitely. As, as much as you want to grind, you can power that thing up. Very good game for that. That, that just appeared. So the... We want it for sure. Yeah. Sucks their fire. But... Stay out of that. Fully charged. Ah, oh, yeah. I love it when there's just a big pack there. It feels so good. They also added their little uh, blood explosion animation when they died too, which is awesome. Oh, we're way over. We're way over. I was zoned out. Wow, I thought I was going to do way more damage there. Wow, that dude had a lot of health, y'all. <laughs> Probably the longest boss fight yet. And we're only on Rupture 35. Might be the base item we were looking for. Can't remember. Think of arcane. Don't need that. All right, we're gonna head back here and get our card. Now we've gotten five of these crystals. Check for some upgrades. Of course. I swear every five levels you can upgrade your crafting benches. And buy another reroll. That's why you want to be saving gold. That's maxed out. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'll see. I'm deciding if we want to. We'll just start all this up. Uh, I don't know if we want to craft white yet. because I don't know if I have the recipes unlocked. No. Not yet. We could do some of these. Uh, I don't think I have very many of those. 
Like six. So if it rolls orange, it could have a special modifier on there. No such luck. That's all right. Those aren't the best anyway. All right. Put that down. Who's going to break it down for them mats? What did I miss in here that I can upgrade? Glitch, maybe. Uh, what else are we going to do? We're going to spend our points. Uh, going over here for lightning. Oh, baby. Ooh, we can get... Do we want XP? We, we should probably get XP, yeah? Oh, these other ones. Health regen. We could grab a couple more lightning nodes. Like, they're all good, you know? They're all good. It's like, what's the best? We can go experience bonus, crit damage, damage against bosses, health regen, that's Arcane and Fire. I'm not worried about those. Strength and Damage. I feel like we're going to go with this one since this gives us 50 and then we'll go up here for the increased. That'd be nice though with the armor. Oh, uh, let's just go into more damage for now. For damage, I don't know what my crit chance is. 34, it's pretty good. And then there's all those gems we'll use up. Ready. I must not have the uh, uh, the bat recipe yet. It's weird. Wonder if we got our ammy. Rude. Wonder if they changed them. Here's the whole new. Uh... I forgot about that. <laughs> I love this game. So here's the upgrading thing you can do for your offhands. Up upgrade this one. And then you can, so I guess you can pick one. You can summon more, or we could do larger area. I think I want more. Okay, that's not even, See, this is my thing. It's like, do we want Lightning Totem on top of Lightning Plasma, or do we want just all Lightning Plasma? That's what I can't decide. Your Plasma Beams grow longer in range, or your Plasma Beams have a chance to induce a charged Lightning Core on enemies. That sounds awesome. Not enough resources. That sucks. I wonder if I can do... Oh, uh, okay, I see. So it is upgraded to that. This one we can do. Let's see what a charge lightning core on enemies looks like. Then we need more horn fragments, and then we can upgrade that one. I think we need 10 essences. Or a... Whoa, they changed this to 100? Wow. That's a lot. It used to be only 10. And then if we wanted to... Okay, let's see if there's the daily... Then the daily whatever NPC. Yeah, there. Nice. We can go do the pet dungeon. I don't want to yet, though. I'm going to wait till like... I don't know. I'm going to probably wait till Rupture 45. Uh, what the heck was that? Remains of the Shadow Forge. It has been foretold that these ancient fragments were used to craft a key. The Shadow. What's the Shadow Forge? I don't know what that is. Let me go turn in books. You always want to. What I do, anyways, if I know, like, I'm going to be playing every single day, I'll save my turn ins of these books. That daily quest. 
bunch of XP, dude. 13 levels. Madness. Uh, let's see, where were we going with this? Then we can decide health regen and energy regen. Ooh, crit chance, but then we gotta go down here. I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna try to get up here to uh, this one. Wow, that wasn't even all the books. All right, so we had to kill elites and, and turn in books still. All right. Must have increased that too then. <laughs> Here we go. Level 36. Rupture 36. Yeah, I think around Rupture level 40, 45. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll start doing some of the... Like the pet dungeon and stuff. Let's see if we can see a charged core on an enemy. Let's just be if that skill hits. It's not working. Your plasma beams have a chance to induce a charged lightning core on enemies. What up, Half? Happy Friday. Can't believe it's already been another week. What do we got? Okay, blue. It's another form of resources then. Okay, we're trying to figure out if these are uh, color-coded. They've got to be. They've got to be. We're just blasting. We're just slaying hordes and hordes and hordes of enemies. This game is pretty much like Diablo meets Vampire Survivors. But it's not roguelike. You get to keep all, all your stuff. Queen runs. The best part of this game is everything that you get in the game serves a purpose. It's all used for something to make you more powerful. But you want to make sure you use the stuff in the right way and you don't waste some of the stuff. But like I said earlier, I wouldn't stress about it too much because if you waste some of the stuff, you can just get more. All good. Yeah, we're, last time I played was two seasons ago. We're seeing what's changed this season. I looked and the last time I played was January. Into January. Which makes sense, because February is when Last Epoch went into patch uh, 1.0, so it would have been starting to ramp up around that time with that. Eh, yeah, we'll kill the boss. Mardoth Boulder. Going down. I swear to you, these bosses are getting more and more health. No! First death. First death of the season. First death of the season. We made it to level 87. Good thing I didn't do hardcore. Thought about it. And they also, they changed hardcore. It's actually permadeath now. Like it should have been from the from day one. Actually made it proper. I want to figure out what that, uh... What is it that I can upgrade in here that I'm not seeing? time. Maybe it's glitched. Maybe I glitched it out. Break down this crap. Uh, let's see if there's anything I can actually upgrade then. Maybe it's time we start spending gold. I don't know. We're going to sell these potions. I don't know really use potions. Maybe I... Keep them. 
Nah. Nah, we don't need potions. He doesn't want this one. Wow. Oh, I know why. Because that one can actually be used over here in this one, this stone here. Remember, all these stones go into that fossil we were talking about a minute ago. So we can spend gold to buy flint and stone to buy those upgrade gems over there. So 2,000, so one of them would cost me 25K. We're not gonna gold dump into that yet. We'll hold out. Um. So this is equivalent to a rupture 45 and we died in a rupture 36. So we're not gonna try that yet. Uh, we could try the catacombs. The catacombs is really nice because at least how it used to work is you go in there and it scales off your highest rupture clear. And you can also get higher level items in here as well. But I'm curious to see if they've changed it at all as far as the layout goes. There's some hidden walls in here you don't want to miss. This dungeon, man. I still just pretty much have it memorized. You do it so much that uh, you just get the layout memorized. I think I did it 60 times last season or something. Get all the loot. Everything, make sure you break everything and loot everything. What's special about this dungeon here is we're getting these orange items, and you can already see I got two upgrades. And what's special about them is their item their higher item level out of what you'd normally get out of a normal rupture. some formula behind it like it's a certain amount uh ruptures higher than your whatever but i don't remember what it is there's some sort of math to it out there hey, that's a wand isn't it come all sure Why is this one better? Lightning Totem? Wow, this one is good. Lightning and Lightning Totem on there. Wow. Deciding if I want to get rid of Lightning Totem though and get more Lightning Plasma or whatever. Or, uh, Totem's kind of nice though. That one's kind of nice. Covers more of the battlefield. There's one hidden wall. The uh, first time you do this, you'll get all these recipes. And those are your stance recipes. Remember your stance is what uh, weapon you're using. These are going to be our recipes for uh, our stance rings. That we'll craft when we get back. The cool part of this game when it comes to crafting, here's a hidden door. When it comes to crafting, there's only certain item slots that can actually roll those special modifiers. Bracers, amulets, boots, relics, and helmets. You don't see rings listed in there. And so that's where those recipes are important, because that's where we're going to be getting our rings from. Loot it. I always clear the perimeter of the room, and then I go through the middle and clean up everything. I got a system to it, all right? Another secret wall. Those are really, really, really good 
these things you can use. They're very useful. They're very useful. Use them to unlock certain chests. They're used in different recipes. They have a lot of different really good uses. Maybe that'll give us the edge we need to get through the rupture 36. We're gonna try it. We're gonna go back, check for upgrades. Maybe that'll get us through. A ring upgrade. And a relic. What's this one? Lightning. Wow, 39% lightning damage on there. Fire yuck. Use it anyway. And then look at all the stones you get too. Ready. Worth it. Worth it, y'all. And break down what we don't want. So here's those recipes we unlocked down here. These are going to be your stance. They're expensive to craft, though. And we do not have the materials for them, unfortunately. But when we do, I don't know which ones... I'm gonna guess Berserker's Edge is your two-hander. Hopefully. Uh, otherwise, I don't remember what these are used for. One table I think we don't have unlocked yet that will use these crafts. Catacombs key, maybe? I think. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can do a 36 now with all those upgrades. Fingers crossed. Remember last time we, last time we had a pretty good up till boss. Love the uh, lightning. Oh, it goes out on my side so I can like hit the trees. Hit the trees and stuff from way over here. all these ores. I like it when there's a bunch of ores in the map too like that. Like there was like eight nodes right there. I don't ever see that many in a map. Boom. So many buffs that I don't even know what they do. This. Oh, okay, they're all from, those are mostly from my passive tree, that's right. What do we have here? Ooh, oh, it's fire, though. Those are good. That's actually those mages. This skill right here. Zakorian mages. Zokorian? Is that right? Mages? Really good build. Ran that. Uh, my very first time I started playing, I ran three of those. Very good fire build. But I like to try something. Each season I like to try something I haven't tried before, so. Really good. You can get like 50 of these mages out and just blow up the map. Even more ores, dude. Wow, this map is stacked. Elemental stones. These are going to be used to craft our uh, elemental damage. Stones, so we get more lightning damage. It's my destiny. 
We're going to use up all our passive points and skill points, too. Right before we go into the boss room. Make sure we have everything we, we can try to get through this. Yeah, we're going up here. Here we go. Cross your fingers and toes. Let's do it. Need more. What? We killed it. I don't know how I killed it, but we killed it. <laughs> Let's go, team. <laughs> it's all part of the plan. I planned it out, actually. <laughs> I have no idea what killed him. Groovy. Oh, what are these? Mythical ones. Oh, okay. But you wouldn't want to craft uh, your stance relics. You want to, you'd want to do normal relics so you have a chance for them to be these special modifiers. Um, Redible modifiers. Make sure you're using the red verbiage. Oh, these Thunderbringer. Yeah, we don't need those. You would think so, since it's Thunder and a Thunderish build. I don't think those are the base ones we're looking for. We're gonna keep keep going up. Hopefully, we can get clear forty. We're currently ranked 114, almost the top 100. I probably would be top 50 if I was able to no life it today. I don't even know what, what's it even look like. Highest rupture is 75, not bad. I just can't believe their leaderboards are that. Chose the top 200. I swear it only used to be the top 100. Expanded them. Only show the top ten. You imagine. What do we got here? Uh, mythical. No, we don't need those. I'm gonna take them, and this doesn't cost anything. This looks like another. Really good map. All the trees. Oh, yeah. The scary part is like these, this little thing I gotta dodge, a purple beam deal. I don't know how much damage it does, so like, in my head, I'm like, I better try. I better stand in it and see. That will try to avoid it. I wish there was a way to know, like, that'll for sure one-tap, you know. Eliminate the temptation. I already got... I, already one I, got. I wish they'd go away when you picked them up. Too many more times I click on it. Try this. The man, the myth, the legend. Yeah, I love that. I've seen people. I haven't been able to see that yet, but I saw it on Discord. That's an awesome... Dude, there's been so many quality of life improvements. I think I played two seasons ago or something. Nice. Dude, you know uh, the... There's like... They have light beams that shine down now on like certain things you can loot in these. Are they color-coded? They gotta be color-coded. Keep trying to pay attention. I, I swear they are. I hope they are, so then you can just easily identify. Purple's weapon, teal's stones or crystals. Something like that. Perfect. Awesome. Making sure I wasn't just losing my mind on that. I love that. That's there's so many good improvements. The blood splatter? Like, that didn't exist when I played last.
Heck yeah, dude. Yeah, it's good to be back. I forgot how addicting the game is. I didn't even want to stop playing earlier to set up for the stream. I just wanted to keep playing. I gotta figure out later. I'm trying to. Uh, I want to update the crafting guide. I'm trying to figure out if all the slots are the same, but that's too much of a depth, in depth conversation to have right now. But uh, I'm gonna sit there and figure it out. I still gotta unlock all my recipes again to test it all. Like, I know they added in relics. I think relics used to not be in there. But as far as, like, the base item. I went back and watched my old video and I was like, I don't know if this is still accurate. I need to update this. So that's, that's my, uh, on my to-do list. But they change it. I swear they change it all the time. I'm, like, playing whack-a-mole trying to stay caught up. Stop attacking. Two, six. We're going one at a time. We're working our way up. Then I swear that like they've added new bracers, they've added new. That's my that's my one thing with the game is I wish that there was a way to tell in game like what can roll on this item. You know what I mean? Like gotta gotta learn. But that's where the community comes in, which is Dwarven Realms' uh, strong suit is community. So plasma lightning. What's the other two? I think Plasma's new this season. I don't know. Maybe it was last season. I don't remember. I didn't play last season, so I wouldn't know. Arcane Seed. Okay, I don't think I've seen that. Gotcha. Arcane Seed, Plasma Lightning, and whatever the third. Okay. I know I was... Oh, is that the one that is fire that has all the little fire orbs around you? That looks so... If that's what it is, that looks so awesome. Yeah, I went to uh, look up on their Discord, like, guides and stuff, and it's just funny how so there's so much stuff that just still isn't updated from the last time I played on there. We need more, we need more tryhards. We need more hardcore. We need more tryhard nerds. In there, we got a few. But I think, I think what it is, I think it's, it is a competitive game, so I think a lot of people are tight-lipped about some of the stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's tryhard nerds, right? <laughs> that's what we need. Yeah, I mean, there's just so much to, like, figure out that's just not there. But oh, we got the community. I was gonna, I was gonna actually, seriously, I was gonna DM you earlier because I was trying to figure out some of the stuff with crafting, but maybe I'll hit you up later this weekend or something because I want to get all that done before Thursday. It's Thursday, no rest for the wicked comes out. I will be playing that. Hit, don't get hit, don't get hit. Update my every season, but no one has done anything. They're like, yeah, I noticed yours, yours, and there was someone else's that seemed updated in there. The progression when I saw that one was updated. I remember when he first posted that one back in January, and I was just surprised to see all the activity on that post. It, Uh, no lightning rip. We don't want any of those. I forgot to cash out. Would have wasted all those essences. Can't be having that. But I know this... I don't remember what level it is. 100 or 200 or something where you quit getting passive points. Something like that. Well, you can, I think you can get more, though, through one of the dungeons. There's so much. The best change, though, 
truthfully, the best change. Look at all these nodes. Look at all this ore. The best change since I've been back is how they moved Bane of the B Blacksmith all the way up here. So much easier to get now. Sucked before. It was like you were just wasting materials to try to level it up to unlock it. Love that they've, they've done that. Bit more accessible. Look at all this ore. What a good map. What a good map. What we got over there. That's uh, arcane. Come on. Tell me the element before I waste my essence. Can't have it all. A little bit of RNG. I'm running no fellowship this season either. I'm going solo. I'm going to torture myself and hopefully find that modifier that is more for hardcore that I'm not doing either. <laughs> so literally just torture. Literally just torture. There's nothing like that feeling when you just turn the corner and there's a giant pack of monsters there that you can blow up. Feels so good. Over here. I thought those were plants. <laughs> those are monsters, Rip. need to pick a season here coming up and just sit down and, and try to grind out the stupid scorpion now man. It's trying to win it today on a Albibo's dream. Dev stream, but no luck. No luck. Oh good. Yeah, it was insane. I think it was it was just that and this the succubus, Pamela or whatever, yeah. <laughs> And you know the people that picked Pamela already had the scorpion mount. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have been all scorpions. To the statue <laughs> my wonder if they do those dev streams every week or something. I need to try to be there more. Doing something good. I gotta say though, it's uh, I'm really happy to see. Yeah. Oh, dude, he was literally any of them. Oh, okay, okay, so it's a seasonal thing. Ah, maybe we'll have to do that then. I'm really happy, though, that the scorpion mount is not on the cash shop. I hope I hope to never see that on the cash shop. Maybe I shouldn't have sold my potions. I shouldn't have sold my potions. <laughs> Oh, oh, let's go! <laughs> Outgamed him there, GG's. Whew, I thought I was toast. <laughs> that was a good kill. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad to see that. Literally everything is cosmetic. That was a good kill, dude. That was a good fight. Gotta mark that. Yeah, they've got they've got such a good product, man. It's uh, just great. It's just to come back and just see that there's still growth. Uh, Double dip there, maybe. 
Dude, it's insanely addicting. It's sad. <laughs> Not, it's sad in a good way. I didn't mean to go into that 37. How do you pour out of these? R? No. How do I pour out of this? I know there's a way. It's not sad, it's scary. <laughs> Portal is B. It's not sad, it's scary. I literally fired it up today. Because I've been playing Path of Exile like since that new season came out. And uh it actually got me off of that. Honestly, it was like, I'll check out the new Dwarven Realm season. Um, I don't think they've added anything that new to the game. I'll just check it out. And then after my first rupture, I was like, okay, I forgot how addicting this is. <laughs> Let's go. When they changed this. This whole thing's crazy. You just can you keep upgrading them past purple. Like, you just keep upgrading the item level once you get the uh, modifier. I'm trying to figure out how this all works. Oh, that's that uh, crafting. Oh, I shouldn't have wasted those. Shouldn't have wasted all those. I don't remember what that comes from. Shredded blue. I get more of those. Oh, okay, but you probably gotta. You only want to probably upgrade it once you've done a higher, like, so many rupture levels. So like, you don't want to just constantly. Wait, hold on, hold on. Offhands now have their own base damage. It doesn't stack. See, so you, you can't get it on your fossil anymore? Dude, that's massive. Hold up. Oh, but I can still get them on here, though. Forgot about all this. Where's the one I have? Where's mine? Where's my... Lightning Plasma. Why isn't my skill on there? Uh, oh, it's a different, okay. Well, because the offhand's always kind of had that damage, right? Okay. Dang, I was hoping you were meaning that they completely took it off fossil and just put it on the actual offhand item itself. So then, because I feel like the way they have it set up, I feel like I have to really kind of just do like three to four of the exact same skill. Because if I'm not using the skill that's on my fossil, I'm kind of gimping myself. And I feel like I'm kind of just... I have to focus on one primary skill, basically. And then it's like, if I'm not using that skill when my offhands, I'm not playing op optimally or whatever. The fossil is additive. Now it's multiplicative. So it's multiplicative on your fossil or on the offhand? Because the offhands... It's just, it's more more damage. Let's just go with that. Hurt my brain on a Friday night, dude. <laughs> Copy that. I'm over here thinking like, oh, well, maybe I need more on the fossil than I do that. But it's like, nah, you need everything on all of it. <laughs> so it's, those games just stack all the numbers. Wow, why don't this elite die? I'm hitting the wall. Ethos, what up? Happy Friday. Did you beat Dragon's Dogma 2 yet? Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out that, how to balance that with the fossil, the skills. It just feels weird in my head, like... Like, if I put all Lightning Plasma on my fossil, when they add that... Uh... 
you know, why would I want to use, say, a lightning totem or something that's not on my fossil? For all four. But there was one season where I picked up Burning Shield, I think, for the defensive on it. Even though my main skill was, like, Meteors or something. No, it was, it was... I was doing Fire Totems that season. Forgot about that build. That build was really fun. So these things here... I did not mean to loot that. These... What you use these... View runes on. I don't know... If that's the best use of those runes. What do you mean? Does the game have summons? What's this? Ooh. Oh, kind of. You can get a... A fire... You can summon mages in there. It's kind of minions. I'll show you. It's kind of minions. Kind of. Yeah, you can get a bunch of them though. You can get like, I swear you can get like 50 to 60 of them. I don't, I don't want lightning totem. I think I want to go full. Uh, lightning plasma. Yeah, the game's interesting because you've got you have four your your actual skills are decided by your item slots, your goblet, your horn, and your trinket, and also your belt. So you can get four different skills. But the way the game's set up is you can literally infinitely grind. And so for me, I usually pick one skill and get it on all four uh, slots. The reason is, like I was literally just talking about a minute ago. When you're upgrading your fossil, which is kind of like your character's power, basically, if you put on that skill damage on there, you kind of have to go with that one skill, I feel like. You could split, like you could put two skills or more on your uh, fossil if you want to, but I feel like then you're kind of splitting your power. Maybe, maybe there's diminishing returns of some sort or something that would make you want to do that. I don't know. Oh, okay. That was my only, that was my only key. All right, we got enough essence. You can get totems too. I don't know if we want to count totems as minions. Now oh, the game's hella addicting. Like, it's stupid addicting, honestly, because it's such a simple game. But I don't know, like, I don't, I still don't know to this day. Is it just the flashing lights that are insanely addicting? Like, I don't know what it is. There's something that just feels good about killing all these monsters. Oh, okay. Frosty of Wolves was my first ever build, actually. Oh, so he will be adding proper summons, aka minions. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, I mean, the game's only five bucks, so I definitely recommend picking it up. But, uh, so I'll, here's the thing I eyed this game for probably like three, four weeks, and I was like, I don't know. It, it looks all right. And then I think it was Bootlink gifted it to me. And that. My friends, it was the beginning of a new type of addiction. <laughs> it keeps me coming back every month, it seems like. Like a lightning, what do we got? Lightning plasma, 319 upgrade, but we're gonna lose, lose the one mod. I don't know, the, the charged lightning core, I don't know, I don't, I don't see it. I don't think it works. Maybe there's too many other flashing lights that I just can't see. It seems like it doesn't work. Let's see how it feels with larger beams. 
Why doesn't it just go up automatically like it used to? I have to go in there and manually pick it now. We'll try. I'd like to. Uh, I like to do five ruptures before I go back to town, just so we can. When we go back, we're getting that new card buff. So we'll clear this one, and then forty. Hopefully, hopefully we've got the power to do so. Then we'll head back. Plus, my bags fill up sooner. I'm at. Yeah, well, we should be good. We should be good for two more ruptures. I'm not running my own uh, fellowship this season, but if anyone wants to convince me to join theirs, you can try. You can try to convince me. I've had a couple ninja invites today. They got declined. So I didn't know who they were. Convince me to join and steal all of your buffs. <laughs> I just didn't feel like putting in the effort. That and I know that I'm switching to uh, a rest for the wicked on Thursday. Yeah, there's they're called fellowships, which are essentially guilds. And it is a single player game, but there's online mechanics. So if you're playing the game, I'm playing the game and we kill these little slugs that give you buffs, we, everyone in the whole fellowship gets that buff. So if you got a bunch of people on at the same time, you can buff stack and get a bunch of stuff from it. It's really awesome. There's there's other things too. If a fellowship member finds there's certain monsters in the game that can summon a rare map. And if someone in your fellowship finds one, it'll Proceed pop up and to go into town and get that map as well. The big part of the game is the leaderboards. Obviously. Big competition. Okay, it's 250 on there already. Why must I be an adult and have responsibilities? Why, oh why? Oh no! What that blue crap is, well, I don't think I want to be in that. GG. Yeah, I ran a fellowship my first. Well, first full season. And then I felt like I needed to always play. Which I guess I would have probably played a buttload anyway, because I was even more highly addicted then. All right, see if we can clear this 40. I love that they added in those schools, though. That's awesome. Let's you know, like, dude, weak. Get good. <laughs> yeah. I hear ya. I think the new season came out. I played, like, 30 minutes, and then, like, oh, yeah. I got a bunch of kids around this house. I gotta, gotta be a dad. But that's why I love the Friday and Saturday nights. Those are my, those are my time. My stream nights. Blast music and slay monsters and get loot. Like time to regroup. What do we have here? Oh, a recipe of some sort. No, don't kill me! Ah, we don't need it. We don't need it. I don't know, though. There's some people on this game that... I mean, they're like they're like I would be if I didn't have real-life responsibilities. Just sit there... All day. Every day. To be fair, there is there is actually like I don't know if you want to call it skill. I would I would call it more knowledge. Like if you understand the fundamentals of the game, you're obviously gonna progress quicker. Pop that. Yeah, I don't want that. 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll never know because you've got a newborn now, so. <laughs> it's, one of, it's one of those games, too, where, like, it doesn't really explain anything to you in game. You've got to just, like, figure stuff out. So, you've got that, too, and you've got people that have been playing the game since day one that already know all the little. all the little secrets to the game. <laughs> Like they already know you got to do this. That you know, like what order you got to do all the all the crap. It like save like how I wasted my catechy earlier. I probably should have saved that. That was a little higher rupture, but got us over the hump. Got us over the hump, which is the point of it. Yeah. Oh, dude. I hear you on the time thing, man. Welcome to fatherhood. You have the same amount of time. You just have to spend it elsewhere. Time is the most valuable resource. Yeah, this, this game, this will pull you in. You'll be addicted. Th this game's, I would say, this game's more addicting than a lot of the other games I've played. Like, I don't know why. That's the scary part, is I don't know why. Usually I'm like, well, I've got this chase item. I'm trying to, you know, like, I can figure out why the game's addicting, but this one, I honestly don't know why it's so addicting. Ooh, about died there. Oh, I'm so glad that ticked last second. See, that's the body. We don't need that. <laughs> good, good, good. Make us something good. We need more products like this on the market. I need more, more games to feed my addictions. No, I don't. That's a, I don't. I don't need more addictions on this. Health and energy. The, the armor's really good on that, too. We're going to grab that. And back to town. Bag's almost full. So every five ruptures you clear, like if it's your first time clearing them, you get this gem. Yellow gem. When you have five of them, you can come over here and pick a card. You can reroll it a certain amount of times, so you can upgrade how many. By default, though, I don't think you can reroll it at all. Uh, I don't know what I want. The damage looks nice. I kind of want lightning. Damage reduction would be nice. No. Ooh, that'd be really good. Yeah, we're going to go with the max health stamina. Yeah. I got our own flavor. Well, this game, I feel like this game's so early. Like, literally, I... Last time I played was the end of January. I came back now. It's, I wouldn't say it's a totally different game, but it's definitely improved in a lot of areas. A lot more than I had honestly expected. I figured to be like, alright, they probably reworked some of the mechanics. Oh, hold on. I don't know if we want to... That was incredibly loud. It scared the Jesus out of me. Hey, thanks for the follow, Flex. I'm sure I didn't miss one of these in here. I think I would have thrown it on. Lightning Totem. Oh, that was just that one. I'm not worried about that. Plasma. Ooh, we could replace our totem and go full lightning plasma. So we have beams or longer in range. I don't know if those stack. I don't think the modifiers stack on the offhands. They might, but I don't think they do. They might, but I'm, I don't think they. I don't think the mods stack. Spark charge. Get down here. 
What's this one? Lightning Plasma. 18, 3 less. Downgrade. Should I throw on the Lightning Core just so I have one of each mod? Let's do that. Just so we have one of each mod. So then we have the Lightning Core and uh, bigger beams. And then what's good about this new system that I really like is we're going to disenchant all those offhands that we don't want. And we can use those materials to upgrades to add upgrades to the ones I have. So this one, Plasma, Lightning Plasma, we can pick what modifier we want. It doesn't really matter. We'll just go, just maybe they'll stack. And apparently, I don't have any materials to upgrade them further than that, though. I feel like that's really expensive to upgrade past that. Uh, what else is there that we can do to bump up my power a little bit? Perhaps. Let's see if I've gotten the recipes I need. Uh, let's see. I don't think we want to craft any of these. We definitely don't want to use up this Alphidiums. Oh, I'm saying that right. We don't want to use any of those up. Maybe some of these. I might use the materials right now. And these ones we can craft. So these bracers are special where if they roll orange, they could. Um, they have a chance to have a special modifier on them. If they even roll orange. I don't even know if these can. But we're also leveling up our crafting right now, so it's a win-win. See if it's any good. All right, boss time. Let's go. I love the sound of that, man. It sounds awesome. <laughs> I don't know why I was scared. We did so many upgrades before we came in here. Probably because I got my butt kicked in that 36 earlier. Keep having flashbacks. What is that? That's an ore note I didn't break all the way. Uh, Thunderbringer, we don't need that. Grab these. The lightning. We're gonna keep pushing up, try to see if we can get through a 45. Love this game. Extremely addictive gameplay. It's unexplainable. Like a $5 game that's this good and addicting, it just shouldn't exist, man. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Anonymous tip $25. Wow, thank you for the support this weekend, y'all. I really appreciate it. Family appreciates it. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you. Keeping these streams going. Appreciate y'all. Wanting to get the uh, YouTube... I want to get some of the Dwarven Realms videos updated since it's been two seasons. Lots has changed. So, let's see. Let's see. Keep an eye out. For now, though, it's blast time. This is my problem on this game. And I always... This happens to me every season as I get suckered into, like... Very early on, like in the first five ruptures, I'll find a skill I really like. And usually it's one of the new skills added that season. And then I don't try any other skills. And I just run that skill the whole season. Even though it may not be the best, I just still run it anyway. <laughs> like the last time I did fire totems. And then that came to bite me in the butt there, dude. That was... It was one of those, like, I just, there was one boss I could not kill with totems. So I had to supplement in two other skills. It's a good time, good learning experience. And I learned nothing from it. I'm still doing the same old crap. Ooh, those are good, aren't they? What are those? 
Those are good for something. Yeah, the Gravedigger's Cove. That I forgot about that dungeon. That one's fun. Hopefully I can get a key for that. I can't remember if the Scorpion comes from Enclave. So I don't think it's Gravedigger's. I think it is Enclave. Or maybe this is the season I farm for the Scorpion. Scorpion Mount's really good because it'll auto-mine nodes for you. Run past them. But it has a very low, very low drop chance. For now, though, I've got this mount that drops a disenchanting station when I hop off of it. I'm not going to fight you in that AoE, bud. There. The Hound of Mardoth. Gotta get out of this. What happened? Another 1337. Anonymous. Anonymous, thank you, thank you, thank you. Some sort of server leg. Oh, we got the amulet of the druid. I think that's still the, the amulet you want to craft for your... Um, for your special mods. That's going to be your main amulet you craft. Unless they've changed it. I know that used to be the main uh, base. So once we clear a 45, we'll go back and we'll spam a couple of those. See if we can get any special modifiers. Did I loot this one? I just can't remember. It's Ami Bracer. That's right. Relic boots and helmet. I don't think I have the armor. Recipes yet. Plus, they've, they've probably changed them. We'll find out, though. There's skulls coming up here, guys. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it after this one. We, uh, we'll try it. I don't, I don't know if the skull means you're guaranteed to get one shot in there, or if it's just like you shouldn't be in here yet type of deal. We're going to find out. Gonna find out. And if we just get our butt kicked, then we'll uh, just go to town and try to upgrade a little bit. Strategy of run to the end in this game? No, you can't. So the way it works when you zone into a uh, <laughs> when a map, you like I rolled my eyes. I'm like, no, you can't. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's addicting. So the game forces me to actually play it. <laughs> So when you, when you go into a map, it's a little, like it's just a large arena pretty much when you first go in there. Pet cage. Like an arcane pet though. Oh, it picks up loot bags for you. Not very good. Oh, uh, so yeah, it's like just a big arena basically. And to get to the boss, you have to go through these rupture statues here. But the only way to unlock the boss is to have enough essence. So we gotta actually farm the 450 essence. Now what makes it interesting is that essence is it's obviously used to unlock the boss fight. But you can also use it to loot things in here. Like see this box of crates over here? This cost me a certain amount of essence to open. So And there's other things that you'll see that cost like I just opened one that costs like 105 essence, which is pretty expensive. But there can be good loot in there. So you've got to decide, do I want to try to get some loot out of this, or do I want to just rush it to the boss and save all of my time essence? Uh, I Early on, I'll usually just rush. Obviously, just save all my essence for the boss room. But I'm kind of at a point right now where I need the upgrades. So we're going to be kind of taking our time. And, uh... Yeah, happy Friday, Squid! <laughs> if my rapping career doesn't work out, I might try out heavy metal. I don't know. Maybe I got a shot. Dude, it's, it's addicting, man. I'm telling you. It's just stupid fun. It's stupid fun. There's so many little things to it. The best part of the music, though, is the monsters in the game are yelling. And I sometimes I think it's just the music. <laughs> 
can't tell if it's the music or game. So if I wanted to right now, I could pop these crates open. We're not going to, though. I'm going to hit these trees, though. Should have done that while I was pulling monsters. Oh, yeah. Tonight we slay. You never know, man. Strep, strep my throat over here doing demon calls. Maybe it'll bring me some luck. Go. I'm scared on this fight though. I should have. I should have farmed up a charge. That blue bar down there on the bottom. Whenever I hit an enemy, I have a chance to generate a rune. When that blue bar is full, I can use my big boy damage ability, and it does quadruple damage. So sometimes, if I know the boss is going to be a pain in the butt, I'll save up a charge for that. Slay, 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 that's all we do is slay every day. Yes, indeed. I love how there's three offhands in these maps. I don't ever remember there being that many. I guess they probably did that since they nerfed how many you can craft all the time. Since instead of crafting, it's now upgrading, so that makes sense. Alright, enemies in this rupture can kill you easily. Let's see how easily. Scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I ain't gonna lie. We can if, we, if it's too hard. We can go back and we can craft a bunch of druid amies. Maybe find a really good mod. Maybe some good lightning damage buffs. Oh, uh, we solved the on, the enclave to do as well. That's a level fifty. I want to wait till I can clear a level fifty rupture. That'll give us our belt offhands. We'll leave more damage there. <laughs> oh, don't encourage it. Don't encourage me. There's something relaxing about it. It's like it's all going to work out, you know? Relaxing. I a kid in high school, and he'd brag to people. He'd brag to people that he would. He goes, "I'm if I can't sleep, I'll turn on heavy metal, and it helps me fall asleep." And he'd brag about it. And this was the same guy that would brag about how long he could stare into a flashlight. So you know, don't know if those are things to brag about, but he did. <laughs> Yeah, I do. I do enjoy some metal. I told you the babies love it, too. We'll mix in a little bit of Mother Goose Club here and there with the babies, but then it's over to Five Finger Death Punch. Like enough, Miss Rachel. That what is around here. They're not... We're doing pretty good. I don't. I don't understand the skull on this map. I think it's a lie. I think it was to just scare me away. Like, do you think there's people playing this game and they see that skull that says the monsters are going to kill me easily? Oh no, I better not go in there. And they just don't even try. Like, they chicken out? That would be a very sad thing to find out. Like, honestly, this is easier than 36 I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I should know better than to talk smack. That's what I learned over all the years. That. I wish those would go away. It bugs me. <laughs> yeah, true. The boss is usually where the damage spike lies. Good point. Look at those spark charges, dude. I'm blue balling them. Earlier I was running that. And I'm like, I don't see the spark charges anywhere. I think it was just a lower percent chance on a on that one. Over here, Sky Lord. Oh crap, I don't have any energy. Hold up. Just 
<laughs> yeah, definitely, dude. <laughs> yeah, instantly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's gotta be. <laughs> he had banged a lot, and uh, that's how he ascended. 100%. Doctor's advice, headbang more. I wrote you a prescription. Brush. Yes, 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 yes. Feel that. Dude, how much essence do I need for this map? Look at these lightning balls, dude. I can't even see. I can't even see what's going on. I'm already way okay. Oh, I bet it was like 450. Alright, let's do it. Let's put in all our points before we go in there. This is supposed to be a challenging fight. Oh, uh, where was I putting points? We we're maxing out health, I believe. That's health regen. Which I don't know. Let's go with armor. All day, every day. It's the grind. Just thrash. I'm scared of the boss. No, it's not. I wish I could play real metal on here, but then you get DMCA'd. Just, just mosh pit. Like, if you're not bleeding, you're not doing it right. Oh, yeah, get some. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Get some get some Remstein going in here. Yeah, I need more. I need more. I need more. Dude, Life Leech is really OP in this because look at this. I life so I have a four percent chance. To steal 10% of my life. So, like, if you get that up to, like, 30%, like, you leech twice, you're GG's. Like, it's actually very strong. But you want to have a good health pool before you start really hyper-focusing in on that. That wasn't bad. Not bad at all. We can clear this 45. <laughs> yeah. I'll play it on my Alexa so Twitch doesn't pick it up and I don't get DMC it, yeah, with that. <laughs> uh oh, these guys are a little bit tankier. These guys are a little bit tankier. So we gotta figure out, my big goal that I wanna figure out is the crafting thing, and I wanna f see if it's the same bases as before or if it's changed in that regard. I went back and I watched that uh, crafting video that I made a while ago, and uh, it's still relevant. It's still a great video. Very useful information in there. A couple things that we'll update. I got to make sure I relearn the game. <laughs> it's taken that much time off. All right, dude, squish some bugs for me, man. Don't get too much bug juice in your eyes. Put on the pits. Put on the pits. Yeah, I haven't played in two seasons, and it's just crazy the amount of knowledge that I did not retain. <laughs> so kind of playing a little bit of catch-up. It's all coming back to me, though. It's all coming back. Got to get all the trees. We got to get all the ore. I don't know if that tree is worth it. It's only like 10 wood. No, I'm not playing hardcore. They... So hardcore before it used to be you're just your name was red on the leaderboard and then when you died it turned white. They've actually made it true hardcore now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just going back from two months ago to now, big changes, man, honestly. Big changes. Lots of quality of life. If you remember before, there was like loads of bodies you'd have to run around and like spam E on to pick up, which was tedious and it was very annoying. And now you've got these little 
like highlighted things that tells you what to go loot. And what's cool about it is you don't have to loot as much and you still get the same amount of items. So you get more bang for your e-click. <laughs> if you're following along. <laughs> I enjoy, look out for the aliens. <laughs> it just scared him. Enjoy. Dude, five bucks for this game? Worth it. Most addicting game I've played in a while. The best part of the game is it can be as mindless as you want it to be. Or you can dive into it as deep as you want to. You can make it a really hardcore game for yourself. If you want to dive into all the systems and figure out everything. Or you can just mindlessly grind too if you want. Look at all that. I think I already looted this. Th those need to disappear. I've said that like five times now. They need to make those disappear when you loot them. All right, we got our charge up. Let's get a massive group. Hopefully pull an elite in here. Smack them with that. Some double tap action. Good enough. <laughs> waste of a charge, waste of a charge. Why is there not many monsters, man? I know it used to scale like the quicker you killed enemies, the more it spawned or something like that. And then they had changed it to where it was random intervals. I know they were messing a lot with the spawner. Spawners in these. Now, it seemed like before there was a lot more monsters. Now they just have more health. What it seems like anyway. Maybe I should quit loot and stuff. <laughs> Actually, just try to push through. There we go, nice little pack. Boom. We're gonna be we're gonna be needing some luck here, y'all. Be sending me all the luck. We're gonna be needing. I didn't win on uh, Albibo's giveaway earlier. Dev stream didn't win on there. Maybe they're saving my luck for these druid amies. I'm gonna roll after this. What's the working theory? We'll put it to the test. Send me all the luck. If we ever get enough essence to get out of this. Run out of time before, uh... Before we have enough. My fault. I keep I keep spending all my essences. To the oh, what's that? Oh, okay. I didn't realize I had uh, pimped all this out already. Nice. I thought I was only on like the third upgrade or whatever. Body blocked in there. Didn't like that. <laughs> Get slayed. <laughs> I love this game, dude. Uh, let's see, what do we get? Vortex, eh. We'll break it down for mats. Have another one. In there, I don't know where. I don't know if we want. But we can respec, so it's not that massive of a deal. But endurance is. I should have probably looked before I spent it. Is the amount of life steal good investment? So in theory, what you want to do is you want to have a high attack speed weapon like swords or something like that, so that you're hitting a whole bunch. And then you have more chances or more opportunities to lifesteal, right? Whoa. Auto, disenchant, normal, magic, and unique crafting stations. What's that mean? Oh, okay. I like that. That's new. I don't remember that. Oh, about that'll uh 
Grave Digger's Cove. Alright, I don't wonder what rupture level that is. Got about that upgrade too. That'll be nice because before when you were to like mass craft, your crafting table actually would fill up and you would lose items. And now it's just going to keep the good crafts. Get rid of the crappy ones that you don't want automatically. So not to sit there and uh... Like because before you, you could let it auto craft but when this bench was full, they, you'd lose the items. And so you'd have to like either choose if you want to sit here or like it was really, really micromanaging. Like it sucked. And uh, glad we made that a little more user friendly. Didn't update it yet, so. Hold on, I don't know if we want to craft all that before I waste a bunch of mats. Hey, later, man. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping in. Let's see. What do we got for upgrades before we start rolling here? Uh, let's see. Some boots. We're just going off the green arrow. I'm not really looking at stats yet. I probably should be, but I don't really care right now, to be honest with you. Once we start actually really rolling and really... Trying to push a little more seriously. Pay more attention. Uh, I still don't know where I want to go with this yet. XP gain would be nice, but I want like actual energy. Boss damage would be nice. I have attack speed for five. That'd be pretty good. Maybe I should go up there for that. We gotta decide what we want to go through. Okay, we can go all the way up. I just don't know how many more points I'm going to have. All right, well, we're going to have to end up uh, respecting quite a bit, I think. We can stuff. That's all right. Did those. Uh, let's see. I cannot remember what items we want to craft there. I don't think any of those were it. Racers of Might. I know that was one. mod though no mod Rip. so just because it's orange doesn't mean it's gonna have the modifier on there we want obviously then but i got the uh druid oh they moved it down here i wonder if that means like the lore on the list is the better maybe i don't know but i know amulet of the druid is one of them so we're going to sit here and craft a hundred of these. <laughs> Let's stand up and stretch while we do that. My bag doesn't fill up. Go down here just in case it does. At least see it. Not even close to filling it up. All right, do we get any mods? Elite. Elite containers. I don't know what those are. Cost reduction. Move extremely slow, but you get 500 damage. We're not doing that. got for modifiers <laughs> all right uh, let's see one of these looked massive this one had a bunch of stats on there i don't know if it's anything good not really like i want to sit here and go through because here's my thing so you have the green arrow on these items right that tells you their upgrades but what is that green arrow factoring in that's what i want to know how are they deciding that for me because if we look at the item it told me is the best item there is, it's not even the skill I'm using. So what are they using to tell me that this is good? We wouldn't even want to use that one anyway because that modifier sucks. 
Uh, I wonder if it's the, uh, because I'm standing up, probably. Oh, I made it a little worse. Probably I'm standing up, and I don't have the lighting set up for that right now. Uh, alright, let's see. Yeah, good call, though. I don't stand very long anyway, I just gotta stretch a minute. <laughs> we'll go back to look and fly. <laughs> Maybe it's the luck surrounding me. Yes. Alright, we're looking for lightning damage. Not lightning totem, but lightning. And lightning plasma. Lightning damage and lightning plasma. Ooh, for each two points in luck, gain 1% damage bonus. Mmm. Because what you can do is you can put these in your stash. I forgot I have this stupid amulet on. Look how slow it makes you go. What we can do is... You can actually re-roll the stats on these items. So if I'm like, oh, I want to go a luck build and try that out. Uh, we'll hold on to it for that. Hmm, nothing good that I'm seeing. Arcane. Wisdom. This is what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of this stupid amulet that I have. We don't want it. We're going to see what else it tells me is the best. And look, life cell attack speed. Yeah. Eh. Eh. All right. This is what it is. We're going to keep it. We didn't, we didn't get anything that good. We didn't get anything that good yet. We can craft a health. Might be in the wrong. Yeah, max health stone. Here we go. And then, oh yeah, I didn't know I had that many of them. I think we can craft some lightning stones. They don't have my skill stones in there. They, I don't know why they do that every update, it seems like. They add new skills, but you don't need a way to actually upgrade them. We're not, last time this happened, I just was like, well, I'm not gonna play that skill. And then they added them later. So we're gonna wait a little bit and see if they added my ability stones I need. And last but not least, cards. We're looking for lightning damage right now. The crit chance to crit damage is always good. Ooh, I think we're going to grab that. All right. And we are... Why are they s still saying they're gonna kill me easily I've I've powered up a little bit I'm a little bit stronger now you would think Ooh, we could do an empowered rupture if we want or a yeah, I don't have enough to craft that the enclave is 50 we could go try an Alicia chamber that's gonna be your pet dungeon I think I'm going to wait till we can clear a rupture 50 and then we'll try it out. I'm going to take two minutes here. I think I may have heard one of the kids yelling something up there. Hey, what's up? Because it's in stand-up mode. What's going on up there? Why? I'm using it. What are you guys yelling about up there? What? What? Why was there fire stuff? All on your shoes. They're sitting by their high chairs, probably. Yeah, that's fine. I can just take my notes somewhere else. Love you. Are your shoes okay? Yeah. Are they going to be okay, though? Be able to get cleaned? All right, love you. See ya.
All right, we're good. We don't have to AFK. They came down here. They came to me. Head on. Like they do. <laughs> I like this desk. It's awesome. Only a hundred bucks on Amazon. All right, let's see. I don't know if they're all if like all maps are just gonna have skulls on them now, or if it literally does scale to your character and whatnot. If it's just like at a certain rupture level, they just start saying, "Ah, oh, these are too hard for you." Make you feel like you're doing something awesome. We'll find out. We'll see. We'll just keep pushing and I've earned. There's one. This one there was a community event that you got just for signing up for it. I like the elephant one the best. And where'd my skin go? I'm gonna go back to my demon hunter skin. Oh, there. You can see the front of it there. This might have been the map that had the hidden. I don't, I don't remember what map it was. The, the cool thing about this game, too, you gotta remember, everything's destructible, pretty much. Makes it awesome. It also makes it have you a little bit of FOMO because you feel like, well, there's gotta be hidden walls. And so then you wanna break all the walls in the game to try to figure out where all the secrets are. And that is a dangerous, very dangerous path to go down. I did it for a while. And it's actually how I found the, the rotten horse mount. Yes. But now we're getting into some spoilers, so I'm going to shut my trap. Level almost uh, almost 120. I've really slowed down in leveling. So uh, I don't want that. It's not a it's not a ball. Get all these little. That's the other thing too. When you break open ores, they like sprout out. Like they throw little rocks on the ground that you'll miss sometimes. And they're tiny, but they give a lot of resources, actually. So you want to make sure you're actually picking them up. I'll be honest. I think they just need to increase the pickup radius for your character. Just make it a little bit less tedious. Not what we needed. And that was that other one I don't need to try. We're good. Yeah, if we can clear a 50, we'll hit up the uh, dragon boss, the pet dungeon, whatever it's called. Just want to make sure, I don't want to waste the kill, I want to make sure we can actually do the dungeon. I don't want to go in there and be weak sauce and waste it. So those key dungeons are kind of roguelike where if you fail, you need another key to go in there, I believe. See how they shoot out all these rocks that you gotta go pick up? Boy. It's annoying because there's so much stuff on your screen that half the time you won't see it. Cash out. We're gonna... Could have probably waited to put some points in here, but... Oh, where the heck was I going? Boss damage, right? Boss damage, I think. Oh, I love this game. Thursday, though, I think we're, we're going to do a bonus stream next week. I think we're going to stream Thursday, Friday, and Saturday because No Rest for the Wicked comes out Thursday, and I am extremely pumped for that game. Yeah, we're going to be checking it out. We'll put a lot of uh, 
I want to give that game a lot of attention. Excited for it. Like, I already knew Dwarven Realms was an amazing game. I already knew this. And, uh, the amount of improvements since I played last is very impressive. Wow, that was a. Wait a minute, I just got 67 max health stones from that? Wow. I think we're on higher ruptures. That's crazy. Just no matter what you type, banned. <laughs> You're like, good game, banned. <laughs> Watch your tongue. I just got you down to your IP address now. <laughs> just tracking you, man. They know. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good one there. That was only 20, or maybe it was 200. A little chunk of change. And I didn't realize how expensive the stone and flint are for uh, the upgrade stones, too. But eventually, I mean, eventually we're going to get to a point like that's going to be your main pool of dumps. Ooh, thought the game was going to crash. That was scary. Oh, we did it. We did it. That opening though, I thought I was I was thought it was toast. What a recovery. There's nothing else in here? What? Trash, trash, and more trash. This is triple digits for your amount of bands. Dude, I believe it, though. I believe it on there. <laughs> I believe it. Get it comfortable again. Alright, time to blast. Can't be running past flowers, though. Let's blast. Oh, wait. Let me pick the flowers. GG. I'm just like, so that boss, I mean, if I were to go... I, I'm, your offhand abilities, when they hit, that must also factor into your leech. That's all I can think of. Because I didn't even use the health potion there on that fight. Well, I guess I picked up my little... These things. The little green... I don't know what you call them. The Helia, though. So that could have been, too. But I, I do think there was a lot of leech going out. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I can tell you right now. The monsters... 1337 from Squid. Appreciate the tip. Thank you so much, y'all. Sport's been unreal this weekend. I appreciate it. <laughs> you guys are awesome. I I can tell you right now though. Oh, these monsters have a lot more health all of a sudden. I'm just wondering when when are we gonna hit that wall? I guess when we hit the wall it'll be alright because I have uh we can run it unpowered. I think I have enough time essences now. Ooh, what do we got over here? I don't know what that is. <laughs> we'll take it. We will take it. Was my lightning stunning that guy? 
Like, it almost looks like he was being staggered a little bit. Because if it does, that's a whole other mechanic I don't even know about in this game. I love this game, man. I just still, I think it's great how I had, I was eyeing this game for like weeks and I just, I don't know. I was like, ah, I look good, looks fun, I don't know. Got other games. And then Wootly gifted it to me and it was like, all right, I should have just bought the freaking game, this is that good. The beginning of a never ending addiction. I swear I saw a house over there too, we should. I guess we don't need to do those yet. We're not worried about all that. Not worried about all that. We will grab this though. Do some more. We're gonna hold on to this charge for the boss so we can open with it. I hope they add my ability stones, man. I'm going to go cry on their Discord. Just got in invited to Shenanigans Fellowship. They invited me earlier. I think they're just spamming invites to people. I don't think they're... you got to convince me. If you want me to join your fellowship, i gotta, I gotta be, I got to be convinced, man. I can earn it that easy. Can earn it that easy. Hot commodity over here. Alright, we are good to push through. Blyjax tips. 333. Appreciate it. I appreciate all the support this weekend, you guys. It's been absolutely unreal. <laughs> That's are awesome. Oh no! I got, hold on, I got hit for 6.3k. I don't even think I have that much health. That was indeed, okay. Literally all my health gone. <laughs> all right, we've hit our, I think we've hit our peak there. Let's see what we can do. Dude, that sucks, man. All right, what are we going to do about this? After Beast, tipped 420. Elite 420. Thank you for the support, guys. Helps out more than you know. Where else do I want to put points? And Anonymous, tip 690. Look at the loot explosions. I love it. Y'all are awesome. It's unreal. Absolutely crazy. This skill tree needs a search function. That's what I think. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go... I feel like I want to get more vitality nodes. Oh, wait. No, those are lifesteal. Yes. Look at them. <laughs> Boys are back in town. Indeed. I need a search function on the skill tree. I want more vitality. I forgot we were going for boss damage, but we need to scale that back. We gotta get our defenses up. There's one over here. The one I was thinking of. Okay, I've maxed that one out. So we're just going to pick up a bunch of armor nodes and hope that helps with survivability. I don't know. Other than that, I really don't know what else we can do. We've got our spark charge. Toxicity, lightning, what was that one? 16, 271, it's trash. Got all our gems. We could. 
I guess we need our gold to upgrade the fort, so we're not going to spend gold yet. What's this? Those are one of the boots we need, actually. So it's actually really good. The mirror stone is the base item you want to craft on. Unless they've changed it. They could have changed it, so... Oh, uh, we could do... We could run this one. Terrified. I don't want to waste the key. I don't want to waste... We're going to save it. Um... Let's see. Let's go craft these boots. See if we can pull something out of here. Get everything crafted first. We're going to do a round of crafting. We're going to do a round of crafting. See if we can get some good pulls. Get some good mods that we want. Honestly, I appreciate all the support this weekend, guys. Everyone hanging out. It's been absolutely awesome. Friday and Saturday. Fridays and Saturdays. Squeaky Horse Hoof just hit 333. Nice. Thank you, Squeaky. Appreciate it. Do appreciate the support, honestly. Y'all rock. Okay. Let's hope we got some luck now. To get some crafting going. So the pattern we're looking for, you probably can't see it behind my head. That one right there, Mirrorstone Plate. And I think I only have the Boots version of this. I don't think we have, which is good. And if you ever forget what sockets you can roll these modifiers on, you can always check in here, hit J, and mouse over this prick here. It's Bracers, Amulets, Boots, Relics, and Helmet. So we're gonna try Boots here. And we're hoping that we can get, they gotta roll orange, and then they have a chance to roll a special modifier on them. I need 150K gold so it auto disenchants all these crappy ones. So these must be, if they're this color, they're unique then. All right, no special modifiers. Boots do I have? Oh, the Templar. Well, these aren't that good. Oh, because the malls. This mall damage and crit chance. That's why these are so good. Uh, lightning damage. The squeaky coming in hot. Appreciate it. Hold on, these might be better, but it lowers my combat rating by two hundred. Like, what? It makes sense. Unless the crit's just that good. And the mall damage must be. <laughs> just. Just that good. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. Thank you for the support this weekend. Everyone else, it's been unreal. Uh, we don't want to upgrade. Yeah, maybe I do want to upgrade those. I don't know if I have the mats, though. We're going to go with, let's see, Amy was the other one, so we're going to craft some of these. We can do, did I get any stance? Um, yeah, all we have is the Thunderbringer, which is not what we want. There, let's check Bracers, Dwarven or the other ones. So the two, back when I played, the two you wanted to craft were Dwarven and Bracers of Might. And Bracers of Might were the two you want to craft. Let's see. Big money, big money. Give me the luck. Give me the luck. Otherwise, if we can't we can't get the jump we need. We're going to have to either go back and just keep trying that same rupture over and over and over, and hopefully we get a decent boss. 
or we can go back to like a 42 or something and uh, do an empowered version of it. And just just go for levels. Nothing good. Trying to think what else we have to do here that we could uh, potentially make us stronger. We can do some... Oh, let's see. We could make some lightning scraps. I don't think I have... What are these for? I can't remember. Are these for crafting, right? Do you need them for... Oh, you do need them. So I only have enough of this blue crap to level up two offhands. So let's see what my crappiest offhand is, and we'll level up. 18, 312, 318. Okay, so this one... 18 and 312. Let's see what it goes to. It didn't go up very much. It went up 2%. <laughs> what a waste of materials. <laughs> it goes up by nothing. What a... I don't know if I like this new system, to be honest. There's got to be more to that, more to that crafting system than that. That can't be it. Ah, uh, the other thing we can do. Okay, so we got our stone and flint. We can upgrade. We can get some two-handed. We're pretty much committed to the two-handed at this point. So we'll do that. Let's see if we have. I don't want to waste gold right now. We craft it. Oh, here we go. We don't want to use gold yet. Because we need it to upgrade our fort. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I mean... I think there's much other things we can upgrade. A lightning stone. We can do a little bit of those. Yes. And then you can see our combat ratings hasn't gone up that much. Yeah, and they don't have my ability stone in here, so we can't upgrade that. Hmm, let's check for keys that we can craft. Your, these are your imbued things that I keep talking about. You don't, you don't want to craft a key, it's way too expensive. For the catacombs, anyway. We go try an Alicia's, but I just have a feeling. I bet we could do it. Let's try it. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm level 128. There's no max level. Crafting is a separate level. Yeah. So uh, currently level 162 in crafting. But as you level up, you're gonna unlock different perks. So we unlock. This is how we can get the incredible modifiers, which we haven't found any good ones yet. But we got one on here. I think these are the special modifiers you can see at the bottom. Reach two points in luck, gain 1% damage bonus. And then. Uh oh. That's ain't good. Wait, why'd I put all this crap in here? What happened? Do I need to know? And. Yeah, craft, crafting is worth it. And then there's a actual crafting dungeon you can unlock uh, down here. <laughs> they didn't know. They didn't know what to do. They're like, oh no, it's double digits. Server lag, baby. <laughs> yeah. All right, what else can I, should we, should we try, I'm serious, I'm going to try this Alicia dungeon, I'm scared, but we're going to try it. And if I die, I lose the key. But there's some good stuff in here that we can get. First thing you need to know about this dungeon is these starfish down here that are not very noticeable, but you get them down here. You use to craft some, um... Damage reduction gems. 
Yeah, that is annoying. The, yeah. Not much. I don't think there's much we can do about it, though. It sucks, but... Let's keep an eye on that, though. Maybe there's something. Maybe there's something more to it. All right, let's see. And then... Yeah, yeah. I mean, she only get a few seconds. Only get a few seconds. It's true. And those thirty seconds is a long time, actually. You would think this day and age like that wouldn't be a thing. All right, so here's the boss, the Mother of Darkness. And you can fall in the fire. So let's not do that. Oh, balls. No, no. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, we're charged up. We're going to pop it. And hopefully get some ticks going here. Eventually, you're going to get to the point where uh, you'll one-tap this boss, and it will, the boss won't be the stressful. But yeah, when you're first starting out... No! I... Oh, no! Oh, it sucks. That's all right. We'll get more. We'll get more. That is very disappointing. I saw it, dude. I saw it, and I was like, I think I got one more second. And I was, so I was going for the healing thing, and I, sh I should have just got out of it. It's all right. Ah, uh, that sucks. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to have to. I think we're going to have to go juice one here. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go. We're going to try the rupture again. Oh, here's the starfish recipe, by the way. It's way down here. You can make these shadow stones. Right there. And what these do is they do something, and I don't remember what now. <laughs> They're used for. I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're used for <laughs> the stone skins that give you damage reduction. And there's a uh, hard cap here. So eventually, uh, once you're done, I think, what is it? You craft those. Up until your soft caps. I swear they have another purpose, I think. I just can't remember what. Oh, the XP. So once you're damage reduction capped, then you can get the XP bonus. So at least we got that. At least we got that. It's one more check here for graphs. One more check. No, can't do any of those. All right. Here we go. We're going to try another 49. If we get our butt kicked, we'll give it like two or three tries. And if, we, if we just can't do it, we'll uh, go back and do like a level 45 and we'll just infuse it. Do a full clear, grind out some XP for a bit. Pretty good run though. I mean, we've we made it. I mean, I haven't had to go back and farm at all. Other than that time, I just had to go do that catacombs. Which maybe we'll get lucky and get a catechy, and then we can do that. That'll get us past for sure. I'll tell you what I'd like to see is some more dragon cages. I've only seen one this entire day. And the reason we need those is because those are going to give us dragon pets. Well, if the pet's not an upgrade, you can break it down for dragon blood. For one dragon blood per dragon that you break down. And when you have ten dragon bloods, we can go fight that uh, Mother of Darkness fight again. 
hopefully kill it. Hopefully not die again, waste another key. Ooh, trash. But they're pretty rare. It's pretty rare to find those dragon cages. I don't know if there's a sweet spot where you where they're more common, but they're pretty rare. Yeah, I, mean, I think they're entirely just RNG dependent. That's wow, we're blasting this one. Look at we're already able to go to the boss almost. I'm trying to brainstorm, like, is there anything else I've missed I've not thought of that could uh, up my power? Is there anything else I've missed out on? We don't have the ability stones, but that wouldn't be that much. And I haven't been full clearing maps either, because I'm lazy. So maybe I'm behind in levels a little bit? Levels don't really, I don't think levels do that much. Oh no, I hate these. Oh, you gotta be in that. They've improved that a lot. That used to be so glitchy to get inside of. Dude, we gotta, we have to clear these ads. Otherwise, No. Okay, once those AoEs are gone, we got the wombo combo. Tick, tick faster. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. Now we're going to go try a 50. <laughs> oh, man. He's showing him who's boss. Yeah, we're not going to infuse this one. Ooh, that was spicy. I love this map's really good with all the trees. And this is just this is one of my favorite maps. There's usually, I usually I'll find a pet cage on this map too. But I probably just jinxed myself. The other thing too, looks like you're a bit behind. Same rupture, 71. Yeah. I'm running behind. I'm lagging. IRL lagging. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't been able to play very much today. Then I'm trying malls this season, which I feel like aren't the best. But I'm giving them a go. I also didn't spec into uh, bonus XP either, which I think a lot of people do early on. Uh, but I don't want to. I didn't want to do that. I'll, I'll very what I mean a smart what we could do. I guess I don't know how expensive it is to respect these days. What we could do is go XP early on, and then when you need that extra edge to push through, you could spec out of the XP and transfer it over to damage or survival nodes, whatever you're lacking in. Do something like that. I just don't know how expensive it is to respect. It's even it's worth doing that. It's worth mid-maxing that much or not. 
Look at all the lightning. There's a lightning spell in here called Eye of the Storm, and it's literally a big s storm circle, that, but it's only around you. It's pretty small. Uh, originally, I was like, I'm just going to be a walking lightning storm, but it was the area was too small on it. So like, eh. Oh like, yeah, I'm worried about it. Do I go with these giant lightning tendrils or <laughs> whatever they are? Shooting out of my ears. Another fellowship invite. I'm gonna have to turn them off. Yeah, I think that's I think that's kind of what most people do in the community, but smart. To be honest, I haven't played in two seasons, so I am like still trying to get back in the jive of it all. I'm trying to remember all the little gimmicks. No! <laughs> no, I was going to energy. Uh, what's it called? Second wind. Okay, it's not P. Let's go into this one. And then I'll go into more health. And then I go into more armor. And then I'll go pick up an element. You should get the element list and then the element that I'm playing. And then from there, I just kind of go whatever. Like if I need more defense or damage. But yeah, the XP one, I mean, maybe I'll start putting points in there. Now that I'm being called out. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> you twisted my arm, bro. <laughs> you forced me to go XP. <laughs> That's fine. We're going to do a 45 uh, infused anyway. It's nice to be ahead. At least I can show up and drop some knowledge. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Didn't play last season either. Nice. Wasn't happy with the mob nurse. I don't like the fact that toxic pools would one shot you and later ruptures. They nerfed at this patch. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't play. I don't even remember. I think the last one I played was like season 20 or something. I, I don't even remember. I don't remember the, the toxic pool thing though, but I believe you. I would like to see more. I don't know. I don't know. I'd like to see more skill gameplay. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just holding down my attack button right now. And, uh... I don't know. But it's it's a mindless grind, which is that's kind of what I love about it. I don't really have to think that much. But if you know all the, all the little gimmicks and this and that, then you'll do much better, so... I'd say it's more of a knowledge-based game than a skill-based game. Like the bosses that are killing me right now, if I just out-level it and out-gear it, GG's. Mindless. We'll get there. We'll get there. You don't need that. I think that's a one-hander. Also, I don't have my belt yet. What level's Enclave, I wonder? I gotta. I, I want to go to Enclave for my belt, but I don't know if that one scales or not, because it doesn't say a rupture level on the key. So I almost wonder if it scales. I don't want to waste another key, though, so we're not, we're not going to do it until I'm confident. I don't want to waste another key like I did on uh, Mother of Darkness. Heifer Beast, tip 420. Hey, thank you so much for the support again. Hook up the community, the tips. Appreciate it, man. Support. Family and I are very thankful. Helps out the channel more than you know. We gotta pop those. Aw, oh, I was hoping it was a uh, Gravedigger's key. Uh actually we infused this, so we're gonna we're gonna chill in here. We're gonna chill in here till this is about a quarter left. 
up there in the top left, you'll see the time counting down at that yellow bar. That's at about a quarter, we'll, then we'll go jump the boss. Yes. The Sky Lord, I forgot I infused this map. That means we gotta do... Uh, usually there's hidden gems around the perimeter that you wanna hit up. Oh, that one does? Okay. Oh, I have a Gravedigger's Cove. Okay, I don't have an Enclave. Gravedigger's Cove doesn't say the level. Maybe that one scales like the Catacombs. Good to know, though, on the uh, Enclave 50. I'm always off then. All the hidden gems. Maybe I got them already. Yeah, the Elisa one said... 45 on it, and I have cleared a 49, I think. Yeah. That was my fault. I stood in the... I stood in the crap. I'm gonna have to turn off these invites, dude. Quit spam inviting me. Gotta convince me if you want me that bad. <laughs> now I wanna try out that one mod. We're playing solo. It's good. Why did I mount? I swear, usually when you infuse these, there's more crystals in them and stuff, but I got scammed. Hot commodity, man. In demand. In demand. Rank one in my mind. So here's where you go. Let's go back and forth in a line, basically, now. I think I'm pretty much cleared... Be honest, I was thinking I would probably get. I, I thought I was gonna get to a higher rupture level before I'd hit a wall, but there's gotta be something I'm missing. Right, just the levels, hey. Why is it all black? Do I not want to be in that? It's a shadow from the mushroom. <laughs> I thought I was like, oh, I'm in some void thing. Or something. It's a shadow. <laughs> it's just a shadow. Oh, look. These, these weren't here before. Oh. Oh, I ain't going to die in here. Well, I shouldn't jinx myself. I saw another one. Where'd he go? <laughs> no, no, it's server lag. <laughs> you know this. Don't stand in fire. Fire stands on me. <laughs> I stand in fire and I don't use bloodlust, right? Even as a shaman. I thought there was another chest over there, but I must, I must have been this thing that I was seeing. Oh, it's always always on cooldown. And the server leg. Alright, fine. We'll go hit the boss. Maybe. No, we're going to hit this first. Crash. I get up there. Other stairs. All right, here we go. Oh, I don't like this boss. Whatever. GGs.
Give me some loot. Give me some good loot, game. Come on. Give me some upgrades. Yay! <laughs> Gotta save the day. <laughs> the good old days. <laughs> yeah. There's no sense in saving it. Man, what am I going to do? Okay, let's see if we can... I don't really want to do another... I don't think we need another round of crafting. I don't think we need another round of crafting, but I'll do it. What else could we do? Leveled up, so we can spend those points. May just need to grind. Like, we may just start to be at that point that we just need to grind for a while. Uh, we got more bones. Wait, why are they? Okay, there. Come on! And the item level of the stuff you craft, I believe, is scaled off your highest rupture level. Ooh, XP bonus there. That's nice. For digging deeper, though, that one's like, that's the very end of your skill tree. We'll be able to get a higher item level by then. That one's not really worth it. Let's see, crafting. Off hands. I don't think I have any mats. I might have enough for this one, actually. And then, do we have enough for any druid? 20. Bro, he is. Oh, nice! It actually rolled balls, too. That's going to jump up our uh, CR a little bit. Yep, a 200-some. GG's. I don't see all my skins. I don't. I don't really have. I don't know if I have any cool. I don't know what this one is. I have no idea how I got these. Those look awesome, though. So the problem with the game right now is you can't wear a skin and wings. It's one or the other. They're gonna be changing it, but. Oh, maybe I lied. Wait a minute. I lied. I have both right now, dude. I lied. I don't know what I'm talking about. They hot fixed it. They must have hot fixed it a few minutes ago. That's all I can think of. This is my favorite skin. Elephant wings and death mask. Yes. <laughs> I like this one. This is what they gave me for this season, so I'm going to use that one. We got the wings. We got them out. There's a music tab. I don't know what that means. All right. Let's put stamina in there. Eight points to spend. We are going XP. I mean, we're going to be grinding that now, so might as well. And then health, of course. I think I need, like, at least 10K. Pretty good, dude. Screenies. Get some screenies. Yeah. It's pretty cool. All your mounts that you have, they keep in the stable back here. I have a chicken mount. A chicken mount? <laughs> yeah, this one's not as big as Path of Exile. <laughs> yeah, this mount's... That was stupid. <laughs> I like this one I got. There's a secret quest in the game you can do. Yeah. I like this one.
But the elephant's cooler. So. <laughs> the chicken. <laughs> like a. Like a. Oh, look at this one, too. This one's cool. That one's cool. Yep, they got awesome cosmetics in here, dude. Alright. The chicken's hilarious. I want the scorpion, but man, we gotta be able to grind that out. All right, uh, what were we doing? Let's see, I'm trying to remember where we were at. What was I doing? What was happening? I was getting my butt kicked, I know that. Uh, what do we got here, two hand? Wait a minute. So mauls don't count as two-handed then. Okay, can I dual wield them? I gotta read all these. Crit damage. Chance to gain health and energy regeneration. Transcend. For sure, duration, increase critical damage. When dealing damage, chance to gain a divine aura that makes... Oh, that's how I was getting that. Okay. <laughs> Make fun of my mouth. Like a chicken? He means business. I always, honestly, I always use the elephant just because it has the disenchant station. <laughs> she likes chicken booty. Don't watch Louder Milk, then. Great show on Netflix. Louder Milk, gotta check it out. Alright. Oh, man. What am I gonna, how am I gonna get past this? I guess we could turn in books, maybe? These are offhand stuff. We don't need to worry about that. Could spend the gold. I just, dude, you know what I just thought of, man. I put, I thought I was using two-handed weapons because I'm such a noob, and I put those on there. I'm actually using mauls, not two-handed. Wow. Wow. At least I didn't invest into a full set of gear and then realize. Ready. That could have been bad. Two more of these. We can craft a health stone. Oh, let's see. Where are we at? I think I need 150k gold for this. And yeah, which we're close. All right, let's try a 50 again. Now that we're 12 levels higher. What did you say? Rupture level 50 and the game finally gave me a lightning drake. I need a lightning drake. I think I still got the base fire one. Hopefully I'll get it here. Hopefully I'll get it here. What the heck is all this poison goop? What the heck is all this poison stuff? Is that me pooping that out? I don't know if that's me or not. I don't know what's going on. I'm leaking. <laughs> I don't know what's... I seriously don't know what that is. Ooh, did we get lightning plasma? Oh, uh, frosty wolves. This is a really... This is one of my favorite skills, actually. I'll throw it on it just to show you. This is one of my favorite, favorite skills in the game right here. Those giant wolves. I don't proc very often, but I only have one. Those right there. Mmm, they're my favorite. That was... Yeah, oh yeah, dude. Like, all this... Yeah, it's a lot. Well, and it's... Yeah, it's not very clean in here either. You gotta actually read all the crap. So this is what happened when I very first started. I was like, well, this one has 537% damage. Like, that's way more damage. Like, that's probably the most damage you're gonna find on all the lightning and offhands. Uh, early, like, for that skill anyway. 
problem is the skill doesn't hit in a very big area. But me being a new player, I was like, well, it does the most damage. Of course I'm going to use that. Uh, we're in trouble in this, <laughs> this rupture. You want to see a lot of numbers. I'll show you a lot of numbers. <laughs> the baby numbers. I was hitting for like millions last season. I didn't realize. Oh, nice. Yeah, I gotta turn off those because that'll uh. Once you get like huge numbers going and stuff, it'll actually lag your game. I don't know if they fix it or not. Not gonna risk it. Uh, duelist. Those are good. I think these are used. Yeah, those are used for those elven, um, those vendors that I said I'm not gonna mess with yet. That's what those are for. Hold on, is it already 10 o'clock? That sucks. I thought it was like 8. Dang. I just, I can't believe this entire time I thought I was using a two-handed one. Embarrassing. But the mall's pretty good because it makes us go pretty much invincible for like three seconds some of the times. Like when that bubble or that thing's circling around my health globe. Invincible during that time. It's pretty good. We're gonna, if we beat this dude. Oh, I didn't mean to loot that. Oh, it's just out of habit. I was like, shiny, get it, get it. Let me look at what it was. Hopefully we can get a... Uh, if we can get a charge, we'll use it. What the heck is all this stuff? This must be a new map. I don't remember seeing this one before. We're gonna we're gonna save the charge because I think we're close to the boss. Mm, this is tempting. This is tempting. Now nah, we're gonna try the boss. Put all our points in. Here we go. Up a good charge. Oh, don't stand. Ah! Oh, it hit me for fifteen K. 15, I mean, it could have been avoided. To be fair. We're going again. That was... I'm going to kill. I'm going to beat it. I'm going to beat it. We need. I'm kind of thinking we need to go back into that boss damage thing I was going to pick up. Died to that. I want to know what this poison is. I mean, is this... Com it's got to be coming from me. Do I have this as a modifier or something? Ah, I got the... I got a belt from some... Where did I get a belt from? <laughs> I thought you had to do Enclave to get belts. I bet I got it from one of those chests in here. Okay, cool. 
Not the skill I want. Looks pretty cool. So that counts as arcane, even though it's poison. Gotcha. It's like a Path of Exile just calls anything that's not an element, they just call it chaos. Which is still confusing. I <laughs> can't even see what's going on. Oh, nice. We need that. I don't, I mean, it was worth it, but that was a lot of essence. Especially when we're trying to just get the 50 done. Yeah, look at these, these poison pools are trash. Need more lightning. It almost seems like so each skill in the game can have two different modifiers on it. And as far as I know, the mods do not stack. So if that's true, you'd be best off having two different skills so then you can have four modifiers, right? So we need to find a lightning skill that complements. Maybe they do stack. I don't know. But if they do, then yeah, just go with one skill. I need to figure that out. I'm trying to figure out what would complement this one and I'm almost wondering if I did the uh, lightning dragons okay, if that would be good that would happen welcome to the damage crew thanks for the follow your target appreciate it yes 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 we are hopefully hopefully we can get this 50 done tonight See if I can get unaddicted and go to bed at a decent time, but I have a feeling it's not going to happen. I just don't. I'm trying to figure out what lightning. I need to pull up. They have spreadsheets out there. I need to pull up and figure out what mods sound good. We definitely want it to be another lightning skill. I don't want to split between two different elements. I've done it before, and it's doable wow a thousand dwarven runes that's awesome the emote explosion glitched there it's stuck there <laughs> broke it Oh, we got another follow. That's why it was up there. Heroku, Heroki. Thank you for the follows, guys. Friday nights and Saturday nights are stream nights around here. Friday nights and Saturday nights. So if you're a weekend gamer, we're here. And it is actually, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna get another charge, and then we'll hit boss. Once we're fully charged, ooh, I kind of want to hit that. Nah, let's just go. Let's just go. Please be an easy boss. Here we go. Oh no! You son of a... We are going to beat a 50 on principle tonight. It's going to happen. We're going to show them who's boss. Can't decide if it's like, what am I, what am I missing here? Obviously I need more health, but is it, would I feel like more life steal would help. I feel like that would be 
in that scenario would have helped us out. We will get this. We will get this. The, the One of the big issues, too, is they don't have the skill that I'm running, Lightning Plasma. They do not have that ability stone in the game yet. They'll probably add it in the next day or two, I would guess. Uh, but that is holding us back significantly right now. I don't know if I have any stance. I think I only have four. Five. Yeah, look, I have 110 ability stones that I just can't use right now. It's not in the game. This is what happened last time I played, and then I ended up just going a different skill just so I could play the game. But I'm gonna I'm gonna wait it out because I want to use this skill this time around. Ooh, key to the catacombs. Here we go. So remember, this is your special dungeon here that's going to give you higher than normal level gear. Oh, this is what got us over the hump last time. So, Anonymous, thanks for the 333. Appreciate all the support this week. The support's been unreal this weekend, guys. Last few weekends, appreciate you all. The support's it's been amazing. Family and I are just, just eternally thankful for all of it. Appreciate you guys. So nice to be able to sit here and nerd out on video games, man. Great talking to the wife and kids about my video games, and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gonna cook us dinner or not, Dad? <laughs> Fine, let me do the dishes first. <laughs> not here, though, not here. Here, though, I can be a true nerd. Get my real self out. Love it. This is our, this is the dungeon I was complaining about that I probably did at least 50 or more times last season. Pretty much do it blindfolded at this point. But we're getting some good stuff. We're getting some good stuff out of here. I can mountain here. Didn't know that. I don't know why I was thinking I couldn't. You mount, it actually it goes really fast around in there, so it's, I'd rather just do it on foot. Ooh, I missed this door last time. Okay, I missed this last time, I think. No, I didn't. This is where all those recipes are that I got. I was going to say. Done it enough times, there's no way. I don't even know where I got this cat key from. It had to be from that Dwarven chest. Gotta be it. So that material we just got in there is going to be one of the materials, I think the only material actually, you use to craft level two of the catacombs. Which gives even more stuff and you need five keys. So you got to do five catacombs. Get a catacombs two key. And if you're new to the game and you don't know about these secret doors, you're not gonna be getting that key to the second floor. And if you're like me, I probably did 25 runs of this before I knew that hidden area was there. Yeah. Happens. That's why you get that FOMO. You wanna like check everything, make sure you're not missing anything. But. It's all good. Like I said, it's all good. You're gonna, if you miss some crap, you can get more crap. It's all good. All works out in the end of the day. Let's check for upgrades. Okay, those are an actual upgrade. 116 damage. An upgrade from 92 damage. All these stones. I bet we could do a 50 now. Do 
we can get it now. And if you're struggling like I am, uh, I do have a video out there about, it's literally videos how to get more powerful. And it shows you a couple different things you can try. If you're like really stuck, and there's just, there's a lot of things in this game that are not apparent to you if you're a new player. Uh, so I have a video out there telling you all the little different things. I'd sit here and list them all right now, but I don't remember all of them. So there's so many different things you can do in the game to uh, creep your power up a bit. We don't need that, do we? We can't tell what it is. No, we don't need that. We're gonna we're gonna actually save essences here, guys. We're gonna just get enough for the boss. We wanna we're taking the boss down. That's the challenge to see if I can not spend essence in here. Trigger happy. It's hard. It's hard to do. See those shinies and you just want to click. Or the laser beam boss is hard. I need more health. See, I got... Oh, dude, I don't know what I'm going to do. We're stuck. We're trapped. Okay, not... Crafting's not going to do the trick here. Could it just be level? Like, I just need more stamina, maybe? Do this. So, we could upgrade our workbench right now. Or I can invest that 150 gold into my character's power. I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to worry about upgrading that later. So this is one of the ways you can get stronger is you can buy flint and stone. Flint is your damage and stone is your armor. We're going to go buy all the stone we can possibly buy. It's 150k gold worth of stone. It's my destiny. And we'll craft them all. <laughs> Two and a half percent more armor. Now well, that's worth it. And stamina. I wonder if I need to go into something else. Let's keep going there. And then. Is there any vitality nodes I didn't grab? These two. Let's see. We could get... I don't have any max life on my chest piece. That's only 12. See if we can make some chest pieces. Start with these first. Well, probably, I don't know what. I'm not sure what Thunderbringer is. Let's craft one and see. I, I don't know. It has max health on there. It uses 100 wood, though, and I feel like. I feel like that's a lot. Whoa, look at the stats on these. It's like reading a book over here. I don't know. I don't know if these are worth craft. I may just waste all my mats. I might have just wasted all my mats. I have no idea. So there's no green arrows 
This is the this thing about this game is it'll give you a green arrow saying it's an upgrade, even though it might not be an upgrade. Like, if we look right here on some of these... Like, right now we're just looking for max health. Well, this one is 144. I don't know why they think this purple armor is better. Yeah, it kind of is. It kind of is better. <laughs> Lighting damage crit. Dang, dude. Fire damage, arcane damage, health regen. Oh, this had three on there. Arcane, oh, arcane and fire. And lightning. Yeah, this had all three. This one's pretty good. Not for my build, but it's pretty good. Yeah, I feel like that one would be pretty good. So 45. Yeah, I mean, it's it only drops my CR a little bit. And we get into almost 8k health. Versus... So it's 800 more health. Basically. Oh, I should have saved some of my mats to make some. Gloves or boots, rip. Fire damage, lightning. This one has no max health. Health's our main issue right now. There's some of these. Ooh, it's arcane though. So what do I have? Crit chance, crit damage, lightning. So we're going to lose a little bit of damage, which I don't really care. I mean, we're just literally survival right now. There we go. 7.7k. Like 300 more health. I don't think that's worth it. Yeah, I don't think that's... Yeah, we'll keep it. We're going to throw these two in the stash since I know these two are good. It's this one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know what we're going to do. We might just have to grind. Three imbued, which you can use. Using for that. About to make an enclave key. That does say rupture level 50 in there now. I see it. Alright, we'll save our imbued runes for that. We'll try 50 again. Didn't go the first time. All right, let's do this. Berserkers. My weapon. Oh yeah, well, that's right. We did the catacombs, didn't we? And then I still died, though. Need more bad guys. Bring them out. Just about stood in that. I'm trying to. I think last the last season I played. I think the very first day. I think I was literally up to rupture seventy in the first day. So I'm definitely lagging behind this season. But I was like, I had planned it all out and stuff. This one I'm just kind of going in. 
Maybe too hard on myself. We're still rank. We're top 59 for rank 59 right now. I'll probably be rank 159 when I wake up in the morning, though. Okay, I'm gonna hit by the lasers. We're gonna save the charge for the boss. We're not gonna use essence. Come on, give me an easy boss, give me an easy boss. Gotta not stand in bad. Give me earthquake. That little rascal. Yes, we beat it. We beat it. I told you we were beating a fifty on principle, and we did it. <laughs> A lot of work, but we did it. <laughs> Let's see. Twenty-two. I don't know what. What? Which one is this? Two-handed. We need a malls. Which one's malls? Well, I don't have enough to craft any of them anyway. I don't know what stance is actually malls. Gotta figure that out. Confusing because these are your different stance names. It's just like just make it mall. I know that one's axes. I it might be Templar. I don't know. But we beat fifty. That means we unlocked another card we can go get. Hopefully get lightning damage again. Life steal chance. I would take a max health one. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take the max health one. We need that. For sure. Alright, we need 150k gold there. No upgrades. Uh, let's see. On to rupture 51. We're gonna keep going here for a little bit. The fast time's going. Another five or ten minutes, we'll see. Pretty way past my time. All that ore. Charges. I might switch weapons tomorrow. I don't know. I, mean, I should just stick it out. I should stick out malls. Already invested into it. If you switch weapons, you gotta re level it all up and all that. Spending assets. Tell you what I what I need to do is just sit here and just just grind a few ruptures. Just not even stress about the push. What I did the, the very first season before I knew anything about all the little mechanics and stuff, I uh, was like, I'm just going to grind rifts or not rifts, whatever, ruptures, levels. 
kind of what I mean honestly that's what you should kind of do well, we want to unlock I don't know what the max like at what point what rift level is it that I have everything in my fort unlocked that's kind of why I push through early on just to unlock all this stuff sure there's a uh, someone out there knows they, they've changed it this season though for sure change it every season all right let's do this Here we go, put on our points first. At least we got a decent boss. I don't jinx myself yet, but too easy. Too easy. We're just going to push right on through. And we'll save our uh, book and all those turn-ins. We'll save those for tomorrow morning. I can't remember what time daily is reset. I think it's 10 a.m. Central. I don't remember. We'll save all that to get that first boost. Tomorrow morning should jump me up to level 200, hopefully. Probably not that high, maybe 180. Maybe I should. I could have done that, honestly. I forgot I had all those books stored up. Uh, about went into that and died. That would have sucked. I'm telling you, this game's too addicting. Like, I need. I should probably go to bed soon. But I'm too addicted. These, I want to know how much these lightning orbs tick for. I need to, I'd have to test it on target, dummy. I feel like they don't do very much damage. Hold up, I just got some. I thought about going electric dragons on my belt. I don't even think these don't say the item level on them. Item level one. There's no way. I've upgraded them so much. Ooh, should I loot it? I should loot it. Yep, yep, that was a good one. I'll roll a bunch of druid necklaces after this one. So I don't think I have enough. I don't have enough legendary shards to craft our stance rings. I think they're 300 a pop. We're just going to save up for a charge here.
I don't have any life regen. That's that's the problem. I just sat there for ten seconds on low health. So the other problem. I do need to spec into that bottom left node. Down here. Okay. I've been I was underestimating it, I guess. Sucks, dude. Won't stand in front of him when he does that. Nice. Nice. I got a loot. Lightning. We got two lightning items. Eh. You want to craft or don't want to keep... This is why the game's so addicting. It's like, I just want to keep pushing, dude, but I can't. I, I literally should not do that. <laughs> it's poor decisions. It's the loot, man. It just gets you. I'm not disenchanting any belts in there. I might want. Uh, let's go ahead and hit some druid. Better slots I got. I yeah, can craft all those. 140 of them, and then hopefully get something good. Thought I glitched out and quit crafting them for a sec. There it is. There it is. One additional damage for each extra inventory slot. And then you spec into more inventory slots in your passive tree. There it is. I've been waiting for it. There it is. That's the only one that rolled a mod, too. Of course, it's fire. But our damage. I mean, it goes up by 108. It's pretty good. I'll take it. And then what we'll do is we'll go into all these inventory slots over here. I don't know how much it is to respec. Oh, it's cheap. Oh, I can unlearn. Oh, dude. This is new. We'll redo my skill tree here. Which is always scary. But we always go over here to the energy one. And then we come over here to base damage. Well, wow, usually I go up to, or over to the uh, life ones over here. Got a couple armor nodes. As long as I don't spend them all before I get to the inventory nodes that I was after. These are all vitality, health, regen. Then we're going to go up to... So you want to skip those because those are fire. So we're going to come over here to lightning. Grab the big boy nodes. And we're going to actually go through the... Uh, vitality here. 
Then what's this one? I'm trying to remember. Strength and damage. Which is good. But... We're going to come up here. For crit chance. And health. No, these are life steal, not health. And then increases health regen and energy energy regen. I mean, we do need that. I guess I thought this linked here. I just screwed myself over. 66 slots. Okay, we'll be able to come over here. And here's your inventory slots. So remember, before all this, we were at 1.1k damage. Then there's another lightning there. We need to come down here for our life regens because we are struggling there too. And crit chance is always nice. What's this one? Endurance. Uh, endurance, if I remember right, is... Amount okay. So you can see our damage. We already went up by about 300. So life steal amount is yeah. We're gonna see a massive, massive boost here. So endurance is the amount of life steal. No, we're gonna polish this off with. Or lightning, and then we're going to go into the XP notes here. I was gimping myself earlier because I was going up here for boss damage. And I I'd, I'd invested too much over here. So uh, we'll see a large increase here. A little bit, I think we have less damage. But our, or uh, less health, but our damage went up by about almost 400 damage. It's crazy just from that one modifier that gives us more inventory slots. So, let's be really stupid and try a 55. Let's just try it. Am I going to regret it? We'll loot that. Hopefully we can make it to boss, give it a crack. Let's see how we do. That one good craft. It wasn't even good though. It was like entry level. It was the modifier we want, but the affixes on it suck. It's all fire. We want that lightning. It's like 600. Uh, hey, appreciate the follow there. Yin. Some in my throat. Can't really talk all of a sudden, dude. Hopefully it's not. All, all Everyone in my family is sick. I've dodged it so far. Knock on wood. Knock on wood, man. I don't, I don't want it. I don't want their crap. Let's get... Man, how much essence do I need? That's tempting. I'm going to grab it. 145 essence. Kind of a lot. Well, the other modifiers I like, there's a crit one, but the other mods I like are the essence ones and then the auto attack one, which I don't... I would heard they nerfed that. I 
good. The one where you can get a bunch of essences is really nice. I think there's two of those. Should have farmed up a charge rip. Yeah. Yeah. We need more health. I mean, we knew it. We were being stupid there. Do I spend all my books and level up, or do I? I might just wait till tomorrow morning for that. I'm gonna save them all. Uh, where else can I get? Life still. We need just life, like just vitality. That's what I need. So what you can do here, this is in the crafting video, and it looks like this hasn't changed. But what you can do is you can craft these dwarven runes here with the, uh, hey, thanks for the follow again. Power. Appreciate it. You can craft these. And then each of these gives you 75. These have other utilities in the game. You can use these to craft a key to the catacombs. I don't recommend doing that, though. You can find keys. Oh, those drops. I don't recommend buying that one. And here's why. All those that we crafted, you can turn them into runes. And here's why that's good. Got two infused beetles, so I could do some infused ruptures, too. So those runes that we just crafted, you can actually use to craft your amulet of the druid. Look, I can make 400 of them. Well, what's good about these is we're going to pause this so I don't overflow my bag. We're going to make a batch of 200, but what's good about these is do not have a slider hold shift for larger quantities oh, my head. these can roll those special modifiers that I'm talking about which I honestly I mean we should be rolling I don't even think I have the recipes though we can get those also on bracers boots relics and helmets I don't have I have the bracer recipes but I don't have boots yet. Or the helmet. And I don't know what the relic one is. 100%. Gotta unlock the elven realm. That's correct. Get that dig deeper. Yeah, I'm glad to see that they moved up the... Uh, blacksmith, whatever it's called. This one. This one used to be way down here. Most of them I played. More accessible now. I just don't know what the base... Like, what relics do you craft to make an orange relic to get the mods on? That's what I can't figure out. Pretty good. I'm not running wisdom, though. Come on, give me some good rolls. I just I just got an ammy upgrade, so I can't be too greedy. Yeah, it's Elven Capital, obviously. Chance that magic gems drop when mining nodes in a rupture. Assuming that's what you're talking about. That'll be ten percent more damage. We get that one. Yeah, I was played two seasons ago. So, like, a lot of the stuff's kind of the same. I mean, like, the fundamentals are still there. They've just changed how some of the, some of the stuff works. All right. Let's see. Yeah, I need to figure out what Relic. Orvin and Bracers of Might. I don't know if there's other Bracers I should be crafting. Like if these, I mean, they're probably worth it. I was 
costs a bunch of those. Raptor Nail, does that cost? Alligator, what's this? That one does. Wait, these don't cost alligator at uh Tigers. So the Dwarven Bracers use one of each of them, basically. Gotcha. I'll do one right there. We'll grab it next level up. Well, dude. I think I'm happy with my progress for the first day of the season. Definitely not as well as uh, last time I played, but we're getting back into the Back into the groove of things. We're getting back into it. We're relearning everything that I knew <laughs> before. I should just go rewatch all my videos. Reteach myself everything. Honestly, if you're new to the game, the best advice I have is just hang out on the Dwarven Realms Discord and just chat to people on there. Super knowledgeable dudes on there. Very good community over there. I don't think we're gonna... Why am I making... Oh, okay. I was so confused for a sec there. One more thing I can check. I gotta sit down. I need to I need to go through all this because Copper and Desert Oak Plank. Well, we're not gonna be using that for our main crafting. Yeah, I waste them all on those Thunderbringers. <laughs> alright, alright. I unfortunately got to wrap it up there. That's going to wrap it up for this Dwarven Realm Season 22 live stream. If you hung out here with us live, I appreciate it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed hanging out with us tonight. And it looks like over on our YouTube poll, the majority of people do not have big plans this weekend. But silver lining to that is more time to play games, so I'm jealous of you. Appreciate everyone's support tonight. Big thanks to Heifer Beast for the gifted subs and uh, everyone that contributed to our weekly goal. Really appreciate it. Support means the absolute world. The family and I are eternally thankful. Hopefully we'll get some videos coming out to you here soon. Appreciate you all, and we'll see you guys tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Central. Good luck.